Hi. Sorry for the jump scare. Uh. I don't know if this is the best setup. I'm standing up. I'm trying to get my camera to where it's propped up to my height. And this is the first time I've ever felt tall. A lot of people have been requesting that I check out Kin Porsche. Two baddies, one Kin Porsche. And you guys have also been sending me video links. Thank you, by the way, to like trailers, maybe clips of them. And I've been restraining myself from checking out any of those because I want to as I do with all of the other shows that I've reacted to, done reviews for, um, I like taking a little nosedive into it with as little knowledge about who the actors are, what the plot is. Um, I just kind of want to go into it blindly so that I could get as real and as, a, as spontaneous of a reaction as possible. So typically what that means is that whenever I go into these shows and I have to watch the pilot, I'm never sure whether or not I'm going to continue watching it. Um, and that's why that's what this intro is. I'm recording something that I don't even know if, if it's going to go out. Um, I'm just going to try watching the pilot and see if I like it. If I do, I'll continue to watch it. If I don't, you will never see this. So if you are seeing this, I probably enjoyed it. Two baddies, one can Porsche. Overall, I have no idea what the fuck this series is about, right? I don't know any specifics about the plot. There have been people that have recommended the show to me and have given me the elevator pitch of what it is. So what I do know of Two Baddies, One Can Porsche is that it has mafia setting and uh, there are gays in it. Fuck yeah, okay? Two words, fuck yeah. Two words, one fuck, one yeah. I love mafia <laughs> AU. It's like, it's the same vibe as like having pirate AUs and then all of them are gay. And people read that thinking like, oh, this would only happen in fiction. But in reality, no. It is so logical for there to be those types of relationships in those kinds of settings because it's so high stakes and you're really only ever around mostly like males because it's very male dominant. I'm pressing play. Damn, look at that back of the head. He looks so expansive. The sideburns of him, dude. Is anyone else getting Lenmong G flashbacks? The Lan Clan sideburns? It's so much about this is just green flags already. <laughs> He's a newly born mafia leader. Why is his tongue gonna go rogue like that though? That's not a mafia thing. Who told him that was okay? What kind of direction? What, what was the vision here for this man? <gasps> Two patties. You missed like a, a couple of like ten like ten like all like all the buttons. You missed all the buttons there. Why were the guns not under the table? Do you know what I mean? Like when you have like you sit down, you're in like a tough meeting and then there's a gun stuck under the table with duct tape. You just put your hand in there snug and you have just the one hand to gesture about and intimidate. That's my one complaint. <laughs> Note that down. Why are the guns not taped under the table? Oh, there is a gun under the table. All right, okay, let's go. I know my mafia tropes, okay? Damn, look at them tips. Look at him counting it over and over without even looking at it. <laughs> He's so good at math. Porsche should like start an Instagram account. Like those influencers that say that they're going to, they have courses that wherein they can teach you how to get rich and successful like them. He could scam so many people on Instagram with that shit. I like this guy. He has very top energy and I enjoy that. But I would also like to see him. <laughs> I'd also like to see him knock down a few. Or 10 by maybe, mm, I don't know, an upcoming mafia gang leader. Yeah, because you have three other employees that aren't doing shit. A machete? These people are insane. Oh, oh, he already came. He's already having his post coital cigarette. <laughs> He's peeing in a bottle. The most expensive piss of his life. 50000 for that. You had to pee in it to do that? Wait, oh, he just had to pee. Okay, okay. I thought that was part of the plan. It's not. He can fight. Okay. <laughs> they were screaming 
even before they knew what was going on. Like, no one ran into that dance floor with a gun yet or a weapon or anything. It was just two guys running through the dance floor. And the people just went insane. Look at this. It's just them two. It's just them two. There was no one else behind them. But everyone was like, ah! Bro, Ken's hair defies all physics and gravity. I'm a fan. Where's his money, bro? Cash. It's cash. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is weird. Exactly. No. Yes, let's go, Porsche. You don't hustle the hustler. You do not hustle the hustler. Take his watch. Yeah. It's probably worth more than 50000 though. If I'm going to be real, like, if he takes his watch, <laughs> there's going to be interest. What is this tango music? It's because they're dancing right now. As in, jump these nuts in your mouth. <laughs> If he didn't have a phone, how did they know where he was? Is this gasoline station famous? Little brother? Are the parents dead? <laughs> I have so many questions. Is this the same guy from Bad Buddy? Probably. I think I kind of get it. I think the both the parents are no longer with us. So the uncle is left there with them. And then the younger brother. If I were to make another prediction, maybe the way that the parents died were... I was about to say mysterious circumstances, but more so what I'm trying to imply is like mafia related. And Kin will be not even directly related to their death but he'll be related to someone that was directly related to their death something like this also partly why they did nothing was left to them was like what if their parents i mean porsche's parents and one of them or both of them were like gambling addicts and they like gambled all the money away because like i mean it could be that it could also just be because they simply couldn't continue to pay off the mortgage of the house i'm here for it i love angst i love a good mafia au <laughs> Okay, so there is some sort of gambling or wrong investments that did happen. Okay, so it was the uncle. I thought it would be the parents. Why would, no why would none of your relatives offer to help you? With the exception of this uncle. No, cash it in. Cash it in yourself. I don't like that he's showing the uncle this. I don't know why. But I don't like that he showed the uncle it. I wish that he would have just... I wish he would have just dealt with it himself. Oh, damn it, Porsche. You can't give him... This watch, he's probably gonna scam you out of it. He's gonna tell you that it's not worth much. That's worth more. That's worth way more than 100k. But you know, you know what Porsche has to do now? He has to work for the mafia. Didn't that one right hand guy get shot in the arm and got grape juice? So, like, he's injured right now. He's gonna need a replacement. Porsche has already proven himself capable of protecting himself because he can fight and protecting Kin. So, by logical thinking, if I'm thinking like a mafia leader, I will hire the guy that protected me that night when I needed him the most. The catch. Porsche would have to work for the mafia. He would have to do a lot of more like shadier things. But he's already pretty good at that. He's stealing, he's lying, he's doing all this shit anyway. Might as well earn a lot more than his bartender salary. It's time for violence and the smell of blood, aka a Tuesday night. I don't understand why, like, are fight clubs legal? These things should be done underground. Why is it being done in what looks like a national park? Uh, uh, tell me why this is everywhere I go, everywhere I look. Damn, I feel like I can fight. Nope, no one caught it. Ha! I knew it! I knew it! We're gonna need to hire a new bodyguard. And then... Oh, all good love stories start, to be honest. Boy meets boy at a bar. Boy protects boy from his assailants at said bar. Boy and boy go to a gas station. Boy steals watch from him. And then they fall in love. What a shot! What a move! But it had to be this coordinated head turn. He is the flourish. And I love it. Oh my god, he's such a villain. He's such a beautiful villain. Damn. Now that's a threat if I ever heard one. Why am I smiling? Why am I smiling at the threat? There's something wrong with me. Don't look at me. Don't fucking look at me. Don't. don't, don't, don't. All the men have to come. That's why they had to come. And they say chivalry is dead. But really, the only thing that could be dead is you. No one had the decency to button up his shirt for him. Oh, 
I know that guy. He's on YouTube. Wow, yeah. I mean, clearly he's insane. Yeah, that, that, that's the beauty of it. And like, we know why. It's because he didn't grow up under normal circumstances. He's fucked in the head. And uh, that suit, the fade of of the white to black at his blazer, he's fucking fighting a man right now. And I'm over here admiring his clothes. Hi, welcome to my channel. This is what I do. The sexual tension between two men fighting sometimes, like it really can just lead to, you know. Whoa. That's kind of. Wait, what? <laughs> What kills me about this scene is not the ridiculousness at which both of these guys have started to become feral by grabbing each other's balls. Like, like prison rules started to apply, right? What gets me about this scene is the fact that the bodyguards, the other men, are just stood there, like, watching this entire thing like it's nothing wrong, and they can't laugh. They can't say anything, lest their dramatic fucking leader misunderstands their laughter and sends them to the fucking guillotine. No, they can't do shit. They just have to stand there and pretend like this isn't the funniest fucking thing that's happened to them in the entire week maybe in the month maybe in their entire lives yeah yeah knew you couldn't trust him of course it's true girl you need help you fucking need help you need to treat that shit see sorry and sorry all you want but sorries are not gonna pay for your fucking debt is it ah uh, no you're an asshole that screwed over two orphans Oh my god, I'm gonna shoot this guy myself. He didn't ask. He was a kid. They had no one. He didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask you to take care of him. You did that for you because you wanted to do it. But he doesn't have, he doesn't owe you shit for that. My spidey senses, dude, when it comes to like shit people, so strong. <laughs> I sussed out that uncle two seconds into knowing him. Two seconds into knowing him, I knew that uncle was good for fucking nothing. What? What is this? No, wait, what is this? You left him in that house by himself? What if your uncle comes back for him? Where does he go? This is such bullshit. What? No, this, no, this poor kid is being left by everyone. Lost his uncle and his brother in one day. Lost both of his parents previously. This kid. This man, though. Also, what, what, ch I don't, I don't chess. What is that? As a queen? Did he just call Portia Queen? Accurate. Once again, Papa, they are not your chess pieces to play with. Uh, official verdict so far. I really, really like it. Before I proceed to the next episode, uh, I am going to stop this. Um, I'm going to transfer the file so I can start editing. And also, I'm going to change my clothes. I'm going to, I'm going to take a, I'm going to take what the, what the, what the Filipinos call a, shower <laughs> i'm gonna shower i'm gonna take a shower it's what everyone calls it too like not just here in the philippines but hello again hi to you sorry for the jump scare as i was getting ready earlier i put on this dress that like my sister gave me this and i don't think that it looks good on me in real life but for some reason on camera it's not so bad i also prepared a few snacks for myself and for my mental health and accidentally matched them to my dress it's ever happened to you? I prepared a matcha latte. Look at that foam, ladies. Ladies. Eh, 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 eh. And then I also have the landan. Okay, so all of that said, we're going to proceed to episode two. The one thing that I really <laughs> should be commenting more on is the fact that whenever a security camera is involved in TyBL, for some reason, that shit is more HD than the camera that I'm recording in, than the camera <laughs> that I've ever recorded in. Like, it's such high quality. What the? I just saw someone's underwear. I didn't expect that. I need a warning next time so I can use my inhaler. Also, I just realized this is the first time we see Porsche in an entirely different shirt. Good for him. Ooh, we're gonna see him in a suit. I'm excited. <laughs> These are the rules of the bodyguards. Eh? That's saying a lot. If Kin is the most normal. 
Oh, he's gonna prank him with the wasabi, bro. Also green. He's also in theme with me today. That apple exploded. There was a bullet that flew this close to his head. And he just like blinked. What is this man made of? Where are they both made of? I guess we'll soon find out because they're gonna be inside one another. <laughs> no, okay. We're just like moving on from that scene like it's nothing. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I guess the fountain is a, a bathroom if they don't tell you where the actual bathroom is. Just pee in the fountain. Like the man you are. I knew you were gonna do this, you fucking low life. <laughs> How many people don't pass training? And also, when they don't pass it, does that mean they die? He peed on them. He peed them to death with his wasabi pee. Boy, the way that it's him versus security cameras every time and he has not won once. Aww, they turned him into a mermaid and they gave him a little shell bra. It's kind of funny to me the amount of times that they try to make Kin look like he's not as crazy as he seems while at the same time writing Kin in such a way where he is like randomly just shooting apples off of his new bodyguard's head cornering him in a boat and forcing him to work for him like making him do all these things that obviously are crossing every boundary out there because he's acting like people are just objects and not really <laughs> capable of free will or choice that's the way that he's treating them and talking about them so like it's really funny to me how the way that they compensate for this behavior is that they write in two other brothers that are worse than kin and they do not forget to remind you of that <laughs> every second and especially after something crazy just happened they're gonna follow it up <laughs> with something else that's crazier or like one of the bodyguards saying that but don't worry like kin's the most normal one i guess it's kind of a criticism that like it's not exactly the best of writing but am i enjoying myself i am you know who i want to meet in this universe the hair and makeup people of this organization imagine the tea ah what is this event sprouted grain with germinated brown rice bread oh it's a bread event what is germinated brown rice is that brown rice from germany <laughs> I'm flying through these. That's kind of crazy. Okay. So my understanding of the plot is that the pieces at play right now is that there's one other main villain that hired this woman to kill Kin in a public bathroom at a bread event. On top of that, there was also a subplot where the minor family, the father, doesn't like the way that the TK group main father is handling, ha you know, his people. Additionally, Porsche also wounded their son by knocking him into a fountain and making him bleed from the head. So now he wants one of his sons to spy on Porsche from Tangkun and Kin. So they've switched their bodyguards so that now Porsche is with Tangkun and Pete is with Kin. And these are the pieces on the chessboard. It's actually, if I'm going to be honest, there's something to be said about the fact that these kids really only ever grew up with bodyguards because it looks like they don't have any friends that are not on their payroll. My guy just wants to sleep, drink, and smoke is what it's looking like. And while that's relatable, I'm also just like, you left your brother for this. I will never forget. Wait a minute. I walked away for a little bit because I was going to fix this light, but then I, I, that thing that Tang Hoon said about you said he wasn't gonna die, but he did wait. Hold on. The reason why I was pausing at that because you know how shows do this sometimes, they'll like make it really fucking meta and they'll try to foreshadow things that will happen later on in the show. So obviously for something like Mafia where yeah, things are pretty high stakes, you're dealing with a lot of guns, people are like shooting each other and killing each other, whatever. Um begs the question like will there be character deaths so i thought they were sort of alluding to that in some way when they were talking about this the, the k-drama that they were watching and then tang Hoon was like oh he died i thought he wasn't gonna die and then now porsche is like well i mean the villain died so now you're just like huh what's that supposed to mean okay yeah so like this is what i mean though is like there's something deeply wrong with kids that only grow up with people 
that bend to their every will. And I guess that's what Portia's role is here is like he's the guy that's finally going to start saying no and putting people in their places. And I guess because he has plot armor, that's going to work out for him. But <laughs> it's really risky. <laughs> That's so I wouldn't want to watch porn with friends. That's so strange though. Are they talking to us? When they say shit like that, when they're like, aren't you bored? You've been watching this exact same show like night and day. Are they like, what are you what are you saying? What the fuck is this? Cut to they're out, of course. Of course. True. Also, Mr. Tanquin has the right idea. Sorry. Like, there is nothing that you can do outdoors that is more fun than what you can do indoors. <laughs> Was that the saddest thing you ever heard? I don't care. Us introverts, we never force extroverts to do our thing. Extroverts are the ones that are like, no, it's gonna be fun. Don't even worry about it. Like, listen, just listen to me. Extroverts, calm down. You don't have to, like, prove that your lifestyle is better. We know it is. <laughs> He looks like he had a good time. Yeah. What's wrong? Oh. Um. Okay. Oh my god. He looks insane and amazing. Let's. Oh my gosh. He's so dumb sometimes. He's literally being offered the path to snatch. And he's like, meh, I don't know about that. I don't know if I want to look irresistible to every man, woman, and child. <laughs> For those of you that don't really mind how jarring it is to be in a whole new setup mid-episode, then you can skip to this timestamp. But for those of you that need an explanation, here's the quick one. I am trying to record all of these through my phone. My phone is charging because it ran out of battery as I was filming. Blah, blah, blah. So many technical issues I've already ran into in trying to film this massive video. Video, and I feel like it won't be the last. Also, this scenario of them going down the pool tied by their ankles and their hands is not going to be a universal scenario. Oh, flirt? Yeah, people always just kind of think that they're doing the right thing. Right now, at like episode three, I don't know if this is the right place to kind of reflect on what I've seen so far. But if I can comment just a little bit on like the overall tone and vibe, like it's it's hard to fully gel with it because the tone is a little off for me is what I'm trying to say. And I think like it's also falling into... One of the reasons why sometimes I can't really get too, too into BL is because there's always such a superficial, like, representation of something. Everything kind of feels very surface level and like a, a beautified version. Then again, I'm on three episodes and maybe that'll change as we go along. As far as the main couple goes, though, it's pretty all right. Like, they have, uh, they have some chemistry. <laughs> the difficulty is that I haven't really seen them in scenarios other than you know, one of them slowly being traumatized. And again, maybe that isn't fair for me to, because maybe these are the kinds of things that I should just overlook in general when I'm going into uh, these types of shows. But I guess because I felt very spoiled by witnessing some really good ones, I told Sunset about you, which I think really set the bar high, that maybe I've come into Kin Porsche with more of a critical eye than even I expected. Is this the start of an orgy? Because lol. It is the start of an orgy. <laughs> Ew, wow. that is actually really dirty, but whatever. Do it for love. Um, oh, what? Why did, why are, Get back on the ground! <laughs> you lie back down. That's sudden? I think like, yeah, it's different because like, this is all he knows. So the, the, the situation, like the bar of morality is very different between the two of them. Oh, oh. Push him in the water. Just go. Oh, he kissed him instead. 
Oh, you like him. You can send him back. But he is drunk, so I'm worried about what the outcome of this is tomorrow. I swear to God, if he plays the whole, like, I don't remember anything from last night, I'm, I'm going to shoot him myself. <laughs> No, don't do, no. Come on, flashback, come on. You know what's gonna refresh this memory? Another kiss. Someone's jelly. You wanted him to light your fire? I got coconut juice and a donut. Also, how is the sauna any better? Like you're gonna sweat on your wound. Whatever, I'm eating my donut. <gasps> They're gonna play sauna chicken while playing gay chicken. That's a lot of chicken. Look at all those chickens. That's a lot of pressure to be putting on your kid. Fuck you. Or gay. Well, this is something. Never mind, he passed out. He went straight for the dick! Bro, I'm hungry. I'm actually hungry now. Oh. What's a diamond auction? Does that mean like elite auction? That's not something to brag about. Like, I can't believe you use that. Like, your status and the fact that you don't do anything and have no ambition to flirt? That's fucking weird. What? Again, it makes sense for them to rely on their bodyguards this way because it's the only way that they can really relate to people. Um, because they don't go out, they don't meet people naturally. So this is really the only way that they're able to expand on their social circle, I guess. Something like that. Eh? Again, he said. What the fuck do you know, Mr. Oh, he doesn't kiss anyone, but he kissed... Poor. Good for you guys. Everyone's thriving here. Do all these stories just exist in one universe? Because why is it that that one kid, this one, reminds me so much of a character from Bad Buddy? Oh my god, they're the same height? Hi? Oh, fuck off. Give him the shirt you're wearing, Wick. <laughs> Whoa, that's a huge ask. What the fuck? Yeah, that's kind of a lot. What the fuck? I can't believe he asked that. The balls on this kid. Like, brother like brother, I guess. Why? What? I mean... You should... You should take it off. You should take it off. What's going on? So much more than dinner is being served in this dining room right now. What the fuck? Diamond auction mean you auction off people? People that are ranked diamond and valorant? Is that a diamond auction? <laughs> it's Wick! Wick is Mr. Kim! Oh my god! That's crazy! Oh, a diamond auction is where you auction off diamonds. Why is it that that's the thing that I didn't think of at all? Um. Oh, oh no. And then Kin's just gonna think he's drunk again. I'm worried. Again. Saved by the security cameras once again. What? I mean, he's an all white. I guess that's. It's Mr. Vegas. Is this necessary, Mr. Kin? That is actually a crazy view. Everything about Kin's life is so well lit and well colored. I'm uncomfortable. What the fuck? I'm sorry, I wish he would just put him to bed. As in, like, let him have a shower and, like, talk about this in the morning or something. Like, it's just, like, this shouldn't be happening. Like, there's another way to go about this, sir. And it's not like this. But I, um, I don't know, it just feels weird. Feels kind of weird. Okay.
It's fucking him bare, too. I mean, I'm assuming. He used condoms with the other kid and lube, but there was no indication of any protection usage here. Now there are so many naked men. All the time. Who is he, Satan? You fucked him while he was drugged, though. No, oh, poor little Phoenix. <laughs> Sorry. This is interesting. Because he's being posed to be the main villain from how he was introduced before, just like in the shadows, trying to get his brother killed or something. Because I think those people are one and the same. I really, like, doubt the father more than I do the one that's being posed as the main villain. Also, like, are there no security cameras... In his office? Security cameras so far have pushed the plot forward <laughs> more than some of these characters, so you would think. You're not supposed to fuck your employees. <laughs> See, this father's evil, bro. He's so manipulative. What happened before? Who is this person that broke your heart or whatever? Are you fucking dumb, bro? He wasn't drunk. He was drugged. Yeah. Why is hazing so gay? So much touching involved. So much taunting. That's so weird and fucked up. Like, how can you continue to work with people like that? When they've seen you and treated you this way. Plus he was basically assaulted as well. Like this is not a good time. You know what though? This is very, very much in theme with the phoenix. Because you know about how like the phoenix that rises from the ashes. But you have to like tear them down first to the very core. Like burn them down. And then from all of that adversity they'll rise up stronger. So... Wait, are we talking about the same thing? Are we talking about the same thing? Are we talking about the same thing? I don't like that. I was worried that there was going to be a punchline instead and this was going to be entirely different. But it's so... I didn't like that. You know why? Because the scene prior to this one pulled apart put together montage of him going through it is so impactful because this is the first time in five episodes that we're seeing Porsche actually getting pulled apart maybe it's not even that deep blah 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 but still it remains that like this is what I'm talking about when I say that the tone kind of puts me off sometimes it kind of shoots itself in the foot from with scenes like this where they kind of set it up really well but then you turn it into this joke like flip it out of nowhere, it removes all of that impact from the first few seconds. I'm not saying that there's no way in which stuff like this works. There definitely is. I've seen like, I struggle to think of specific examples now, but I've definitely watched like shows or movies. I've even read stuff where there's a really good balance between the angst and then the dark comedy and the tone never seems like it's 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 stilted didn't work for me i think that it kind of it, it ruined that impact a little bit because it was doing a good job and then it just like didn't okay we're going in circles now but that's yeah those are my thoughts i had a flaming sambuca uh during my i think 23rd or 24th birthday and I do not even remember which birthday it was. Oh, his pants were down. I didn't even realize his pants were down. <laughs> when he reached for them, it just caught me off guard. <laughs> Is this Vegas? Gro I don't like him. I don't see why not. Because what if by riding that motorcycle, it's a commitment to ride him later? I oh, know this is how he's gonna find out that Porsche's with Vegas and then he's gonna go after them. He should. Oh wow. This is oh my gosh. Hold on. This is irrelevant. This doesn't have anything to do with like anything. This area right here is so pretty. It looks so cozy. Like I want to go in there with my laptop and just like pretend to write, you know? But I'm really just watching youtube videos i'm sorry that i'm going off about this but it just looks so cozy and nice 
I mean, I see what they're doing, right? I understand that because of this past thing that happened that we haven't like fully explored yet, but it has just been implied that he had fallen in love or trusted a bodyguard and that bodyguard betrayed him, betrayed the family, and it became like a hot topic for like, ow, years probably in the family. So it's like confusing. This is why I see the father knows this as well. And that's why it's confusing to me why the father insisted that they hired this guy because I don't know what it is about Porsche that makes him a good candidate for for his son. I know that what they're trying to do is make it as though Kin is trying to create distance. So here's here's where I'm at with that, right? Fire him. <laughs> Why does he still have to be here? Well, at least he's still making money, I guess. And his brother has like protection. Oh, and then you turn it upside down. I see. <laughs> really clever, <laughs> Tom Riddle. This is sweet. This is so sweet. I'm a chai stand is what's happening. Ngan deo long hai tang do. Mao ben chuo deo pi chai la gan. Wow, that was so subtle. <laughs> I feel bad. I don't like that. I don't want to try to get used like this. Like, uh, we're finally, we're getting him in the story and he's just going to get swindled and heartbroken. That's fucked up. Please listen to it. Come on. Come on. You have some time. You have time. This is going to make me cringe, but I love it. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. The harmonization, the piano, the eye contact. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> this is so soft. I can't. Oh, I actually can't. It's adorable. Whatever happened to the modeling gig? It was a TK Groups, right? I remember the, the, the business card suddenly. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so weird to see him do other stuff for his other friends. Thanks, guys. Now these two can talk. That's unfortunate. All the training, all the fucking training that they've been through, and none of it covered high-speed chases. But if this were, like, them being tied underwater, oh my god, this scene would be done in seconds. Aw, look at them fighting together. Uh, what? They just cut to black. The, the truck didn't flip over. It didn't do anything. As soon as the people died in the front, it ran out of gas and the truck stopped. And that's what happened. Uh, finally checked out Kin Porsche. Pretty happy that I did. Overall, I'm not bored. So I am going to continue to watch it. Until then, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see other reactions or reviews that I've made, feel free to check out my channel Peruse at your leisure. Remember guys, don't forget to drink your water. Um put petroleum jelly on any dry spots <laughs> listen to your skin take care of it it loves you it's covering you and you need to cover it back that's how love works uh. hello welcome to my what the fuck was that how's it going my name is Noah. i hope you're doing well I hope you've, I hope you've, I hope, I, have you ever, have you ever had a dream? Oh no, my ring light's flickering. So many bad omens already in this video. Am I gonna have a good time? I'm about to watch Kim Porsche. Is everything gonna be okay? <laughs> Why are so many things already adding to the tension of that, of that is today, of that is this video? Anyway, it's been a few days, a few weeks since I watched the first five episodes of Kin Porsche. And uh, I told you guys, I enjoyed it. I would never lie to you. I've never lied to you. You guys are my best, you're my best friend, so. I'm also like really amused by the fact that I got some comments in my last video of people like being surprised by me watching this show because it does border on problematic. I mean, I'm still entertained. I'm suspending some disbelief as I'm watching it. I'm not really going into this show where you know, I'm looking for like the meaning of life. <laughs> no, I've done that to other shows though. I'm not gonna say which ones. You could probably guess. I just saw the thumbnail for the sixth episode. Some people are naked with the fight. 
Oh, they're missing. Well, this is a turn of events. Oh, a Porsche. Does no one care? Is anybody waving back at him? How? How did they disappear without a trace? I'm suspending some disbelief as I'm watching it. Is that a drone? There's no time for this kind of tomfoolery at the moment, Serge. <laughs> oh my god, they're bickering. This is my weakness. Hold on, I'm, uh, I need a second. I'm trying my best to cover up the show and get myself like out of a schmoppish right hell, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it kind of bothers me in the edit that you can't see half of what I'm seeing because I want to demonstrate some shit. But whatever, Um, that's just part of my frustration, a little bit about me. Number two, why did they think that it was a good idea to wander off on their own when, to my knowledge, the way that the chase happened last time, I just said that I wasn't going to go too deep into it. And then here I am just kind of trying to work out the logistics of this kidnapping and escape. Oh, God. You know what? Never mind. Forget it. Let's let's watch them bicker. This is my weakness. This is a bodyguard rule? What are the what? I have a thought. I don't know how to express it. I'm gonna try my best. Stay with me if you can. This is something that I've noticed in a lot of Thai BL, which at times I probably like let it slide, but then at times, this is one of those times at, it makes me go like, what's going on here? This isn't me clutching my pearls. This is a different pearl clutch. This is a collar pat, collar slap of confusion and curiosity. Because take this scenario, this is actually a perfect example of what I'm trying to say. I'm just gonna try to, go, I'm, I'm trying. Kin, this beautiful man, he's supposedly this badass and we know him to be that. He can be really mature at times and he also, you know, he's, he's killed, he's killed. He has killed. And then you put him in this scene where he's, <laughs> playing rock, paper, scissors with Porsche because they're trying to, they're arguing, right? Because one of them wants to go one way and the other wants to go another way, but they have to go in the same direction. They have to go in one direction because they're cuffed together. Just like, I can understand when, you, you know, trying to write a character and trying to make it like that character has facets to them. You know, not one character is one thing all the time. They have different sides to their personality and who they are. So like, obviously, just because they're like a badass in one scene doesn't mean that they can't be soft and like, kind of like cuddly and cute in the next one. I feel like there's a way to accomplish that without it being a little bit jarring, which is what's <laughs> happening right now. There's no transition. It's a big halt in the switch of from one personality to the next, and there's not really much of a lead in or any kind of consistency in the way that the different sides of this character is being presented. And also, I have to say this, and this is way too early into the show for me to mention Bad Buddy, but I have to say like, watching Bad Buddy does not help the cause of the majority of BL for me. It raised the bar so high, and if I were to zero in also and be really specific about what makes Bad Buddy special for me, it's the acting, and then, going more specific in that, it's Nanon. Honestly, like, I don't think any of you could blame me for watching Kin Porsche with the somewhat critical eye, like, not the most critical, right? Like, I I, I keep a long leash. Now, <laughs> now I'm here in BL land trying to find more gems like that, trying to find more actors like Nanon. What, what was I trying, what point was I trying to make? Just basically, like, what my thought process is and, like, where I'm at when I'm watching BL now. I'm lenient with it, but at the same time, not too, too lenient because I know, <laughs> I know that there's, like, some huge talents in there. And I just want to find them. I want to be connected and invested like that again. I'm trying to find that. Mm. Imagine if they stumble into the cloud recesses. Suddenly, <laughs> Lenmongji. They do say that though. That like if you're lost in the forest, you should go to where there's water. So you could drink the water? So you could pee in the water? Make love in the water? Nah, you wouldn't. <laughs> You can't! You're stuck together! What if you accidentally smash your hands, though? Oh my god. <laughs> that was not a push. He touched his... Okay, never mind. Wait. Oh shit. 
Damn it, I made a mistake, holy shit. Why did this not ding in my calendar? Why does Google Calendar not work? I forgot I had a thing, I have to, why did I start recording? I'm so stupid. Okay, I have a thing that I need to do, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna come back. Through the magic of editing, I will be back in just a second. Two hours later. So, <laughs> it has 100% definitely been a few more than a couple of hours since the last clip, but we're not even gonna talk about it. It's been a few days, whatever, we're moving on. <laughs> Damn, I feel like they've been lost in this forest for as long as I've been taking a break. <laughs> they did find the water though, good shit. Mm, there's no guarantee of that yet. Oh, they're just wetting each other. Water is not homophobic. That's awesome. That's good to know. Oh shit, I'm peeking. Where? Why are they in Sumeru? How did they make it to the place where Florence Pugh filmed the last scene of Don't Worry Darling? This is pretty though. That's a really nice shot. That's a really nice drone shot. I get it. And they're, they're just gonna sleep here? Like in that one scene from Titanic? You know the one, the... You know the one. <laughs> No, they're just on this thing. They're just having a time. Okay, that's a vibe. That's definitely a vibe. This is no longer a vibe. I'm sorry to say this, and they don't deserve this kind of slander. Like, Lord knows they've been through enough. But I do not think that either one of these men are capable of creating a fire. Out of nothing, without even flint, there's no way. Can you picture either of these guys on Survivor? If the answer is no, correct. If the answer is yes, incorrect. Polite but hot. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Watch out for the fire, dude. I think, I'm sorry, but I think the only animals are gonna be eating each other. <laughs> I feel like the only animal that either of them should be at risk of being eaten by <laughs> is each other, correct? <laughs> what the fuck? Does he have a lighter? I'm gonna f <gasps> <gasps> You've seen it. Don't pretend that you have it. What the hell? Oh. Never mind. What up? <laughs> we were just. Oh. Oh my god, he knows. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh no, he's coming back. Why? Why? No, it was a scream of glee. Oh. For sure. Is he just horny for everyone? Like, last I understood, he was trying to put the moves on Porsche. But I guess, like, it doesn't matter because he is a villain. Like, he'll just, he'll just, like, flirt to get his way or, like, fuck with the mind. Like, he'll fuck you in different ways. He'll fuck you and then he'll fuck you in the head. And then he'll fuck you. Or the other way around. There's really no order to the villainy of it all. The villainy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the fucking and the villainy. The fuckability. I'm scared. I'm legitimately afraid of this guy. I do not know where his eyes and his ears are. Like he's just aware. He's just like primitively aware of everyone all the time and of himself. And he he's into Satan. Like imagine falling in love with someone like that too. Imagine taking that home to your parents. Imagine taking that home. Period. <laughs> He doesn't. That's the game. He doesn't know if it's poisonous. This guy. Also, how could you have fallen for that? Really, kid? Like, you're doing this to yourself. Or he could choke on something else. You do it with two hands. I've seen this on the Untamed. You don't need the stick. You need to, like, crouch down, bear down, and just, like, get it. What? This is actually kind of sweet. Damn. I don't know. I'm that's soft. I'm not feeling things you are. I'm not feeling things you are. What are you looking at? 
True. How did they take off all of their clothes when they're cuffed together? The logistics of that just doesn't make sense. I'm not gonna question it. It's gay magic. Oh, uh, bro? Bro? Oh, kiss him again. Come on, don't do this. No one's watching. Except for me, <laughs> I guess. <gasps> oh, that's a full on human bonesy skull. What? You're just over that? Wait. What do you mean, just? What do you mean, just? Bro? <laughs> Imagine getting lost in the forest, dying of starvation, becoming literally just bones, fading away to just your bones, only to become like a plot prop for two gay men to finally fall in love with each other. I know, I too would be honored. Exactly. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> it was a corpse! My boyfriend, he's my bodyguard and like he can catch fish with a spear and he likes to hug in the water. And oh yeah, he also like is afraid of decayed corpses in the dark forest. My boyfriend's weird. <laughs> I guess that's just how he is. He's so quirky. He wants to own a bar? Is that what he wants to do? What do you want to do? <sighs> oh, I'm so smart! Wait, did he actually already mention that and I just forgot? Genuinely, if this entire thing works out, which it probably will, I would be so happy to watch an ending of this show where they get to do that and Kin gets to be there and supports him with it. That is, what a dream. It's completely possible with the two of them, with his influence and power and Porsche's <laughs> raw sexual magnitude, I guess. It can 100% come into fruition. I can see it happening and it's, it's gorge. Engorged. And <laughs> you're engorgeous. <laughs> I am so going to laugh. I would 100% laugh. Oh. Well, let's hear it now. Exactly. <laughs> Put him on the spot. Make him more uncomfortable. Also, I just realized that, like, well, the youngest of theirs sing. I don't know why I found it so ridiculous that Kin would. I guess because, like, Kin was poised to become the mafia leader and is in training to do so that I didn't think of it at all. But he's so cute. That's adorable. Ah, egg you? And for what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no one laugh. If anyone here laughs or smiles, I'm gonna kill them. Shut up. Shut up. What is this song, bro? It's like an old-fashioned song. You should probably sing something more modern or something. No, it actually sounded good, though. Like, it actually sounded good. I'm not gonna lie. Like, his voice was so much better than I, I thought. It's just the song choice is weird. Yeah, it's an old, that, it sounded like an old song. <laughs> I want this country to know. <laughs> he should fly over to South Korea and become an idol. Dude. <laughs> Is that season two? Because I would... <gasps> I would watch that. Really? You don't want to make out? Tonight? By this fire underneath the stars? What's wrong with you? So they've been out of it for like two nights now. Two nights, three days. That's crazy. Is this just their new life? Oh no, he's giving him the look. Oh, he's so fucking happy, bro. He's so happy to be here. They look like they're in a crossfire <laughs> or a coffin. Oh God, that's too much death. What? That's the area there? I thought there was like woods around them. I don't think they want to be found at this point. <laughs> Do that. I can't believe you've done this. Did he land 
on Porsche's ass? Good for him. <laughs> Not the first time, probably. I like this version of you that's like stuck in a hole with me. <laughs> that's the making out. <laughs> oh. Oh, wait, what? In this hole? At this moment? Probably already has a long time ago. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I This doesn't deserve like a whole discussion about whatever that was. I've already said how I felt about it. And then this is happening. Are you sure about that? <laughs> They're definitely gonna have more doubts. We're just on episode six. There's no way. Halfway through, doubtless. Doubt that. Kid. No, don't do this right now. I wasn't ready. Don't, don't leave. Stay here. This is your prison now. Will he be able to get out of the woods though? <laughs> like, <where? laughs> the two of them together couldn't make it out of there. I don't think he'd do better by himself. Oh, I see flashlights. They found him. Push! Oh, thank God. There he is. He's back. Don't even worry about it. Just push him out of the... Push the both of you out of the way. Why'd you... This is exactly what I imagined Mafia AU to be like. Just like eyes in the sky. The protagonist at the center of it all. Just being cool as a cucumber with the stare that could cut right through you. That's everything. Man, I need to read thick after this. What even is that energy? I'm not sure what Porsche has given off, but it's great. It's like the fully capable, non serious guy. Is that a grenade? Like a real one? Or is that a lighter? <laughs> Imagine it explodes and it's just confetti. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Porsche doesn't know that. Vegas is a bad guy yet. Cool. Looks like he's doing a lot of talking this way. Okay. <laughs> he opens the case up. Nipple clamps. He has the American Psycho kit, bro. Probably also has like too hip to be a square somewhere in there. Fuck you! Sorry. The way he sticks out, like Vegas sticks out like a sore thumb. Going to a wet market looking like this. Imagine dressing up like this in the Divisoria. It does not work. He didn't pay him? He just took some and then left? How's his brother doing? It's been a while. <laughs> I haven't seen the brother in like one and a half episodes. Damn, this really like whenever you watch mafia shows or anything mafia related, it really makes you wonder like how many businesses exactly are just a front for something bigger. Wait, is that the guy that you pushed into the fountain? <laughs> Porsche? Man, this guy is in danger of everything. He's the one that always is getting caught with his pants down, right? He should not be in this environment. Oh my god, there he is! I was just thinking about you! Oh! Wait, hold on. My microphone is doing a thing, Lor. Okay, I think we're back in business. I hate it when it does that. Like, I just have shit that doesn't work the way that they're supposed to be working. Um, shit! Be cool, act cool, it's all fine. It's going crazy. <laughs> The one? As in, the oh. one? <laughs> I genuinely thought that what they were hinting at from before, the, the failed love that they kept like foreshadowing in the previous episodes, I thought it was a bodyguard. That's interesting. Who was this guy then? Maybe just like a friend that betrayed him? Huh? I guess what he's trying to say is that much like the knife, Kin was once like this sharp guy, but eventually, if he's not careful, keeps giving his heart away, he's gonna get worn down by all of these lovers that come to him and he gives himself to them over and over. And then by the end, just like that knife, he'll lose his edge. 
the reason why I don't like this dad, right? Even though there isn't a lot of evidence to prove just yet that he's a villain. But the reason why he just rubs me the wrong way as a character is because of the fact that not only is, does he watch his kids much, much too closely than necessary, but it's also the fact that the way that he talks about his kids is always comparable to objects. He would use chess pieces. And then now comparing the skill and the capability of kin to a knife that he used to use to cut up apples for his wife, like, and also just forcing Porsche into this whole world. Why him? Like, all of these things is just like, makes me like think twice about this dad every time. He's such an unsettling person and presence in, in this family. They are luring him in. Damn, you can't like turn your head left to right in this entire series without seeing a sketchy person. Why? We're on the same team now, you and I. No, you're not. This is a temporary arrangement, Mr. Vegas. You got him a guitar? Did you seriously? Wow. That is some kind of intimate. Wait, does his shirt... Hold on. His shirt says Vendredi? As in Friday? My scum France flashback suddenly. Wait, that's not his brother. It's his room! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I am mortified. Oh, you like it. This is not creepy to him. Okay. Uh, tear down all those pictures you have of me in your... Oh, okay. Kids are wild these days. <laughs> are we jealous today of all days? I guess we are today, which is nice. Or did he kill him? Here's a theory. Here's a theory. I don't think he actually killed the one. I mean, the one. I don't think he truly killed him. Maybe that's like, that's the press release. That's what, is that a Tagalog way to say that? And that's what he told his dad and whatever. But maybe he's the only one that knows that like, he actually like helped the one escape. The same way that he was that he was like trying to do for Porsche in the woods earlier. So I'm thinking that's what it is. I don't think he would have killed him is basically what I'm saying. I think maybe that was, that's a front. That's my working theory. Why is everywhere in this place just understaffed? Why is he so hot with a gun? Don't tell him what to do. <laughs> Bro, the way that they light their scenes is pretty nice, honestly. I was gonna say, it looks like the inside of my PC. <laughs> Why? Pete, why? Bro, don't do it. Don't do it, girl. It's not worth it. <laughs> Looking for something? Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, I dropped my... Phew, and then run. <laughs> I'm scared. Is anyone else scared? I'm scared. I'm very afraid. I just wanted to report back that I miss your voice. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh. It looks like a toy. Oh, he's lending it to you. He wants it back. Yeah. It's insurance. <laughs> it looks like a gun. I mean, it looks like a toy. It looks like a BB gun. Sure. Where are you carrying the other one? Huh? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, no. he's gonna... Okay, okay, you're in, you're in, you're in, you're, you're, you're. <laughs> Boys! Oh, the music stopped. What's happening? Oh, oh, suddenly we're in love. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Is his hand still on his crotch, though? Not the forehead kiss with the hand on the crotch. And here, have this gun. Damn, Vegas looks good here. I don't know what's going on with me, bro. I'm broken. 
<laughs> Surprise! And do you think that we are foolish enough to create enemies while our leader is still weak? Yes. <laughs> I don't know, man. Y'all look like a bunch of guys, young men running around with guns and daddy issues. Like, yeah. They are still in a warehouse, though, so there's still potential for uh, a gunfight. Surprise! More men with guns! Yeah. I can't believe they're going in here without any, like, vests, too. They all look like they're just gonna go to a concert or something. Oh. Lucky gun? Lucky gun! Oh, damn. That was cute! That was a cute, like, whatever that's called. I forgot what that edit is. He looks way too good. <laughs> Vegas looks way too good in this scene. Run, Porsche. This, the, the other direction. Leave. He's so shady! That's weird! That's w No! Oh, you mean interested as in for a, a job? Oh, no. Not for for more jobs. Of the hand and blow variety. Why do I like seeing Porsche get fucked up? Some people look hot getting fucked up. Oh, no! Get out of there! Shit's right. D stop touching his tits. Don't brush his tits. Nor. Nor. <laughs> arms down. Arms very down. Bro? Bro. He said no. He said no. He's saying no. He's saying no. He's saying no. Get off him. Get off him. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> That's quick. Oh, he's smiling. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, my God. Yes. Loved? Wait, there's so many. The whiplash. Oh, oh shit. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Help me. I'm so stressed. They're stressing me out so much. What the fuck? This isn't scum France inside my microphone. It's the whiplash of emotions of watching Ken Porsche in 2022. Whoa, he went straight for tit! SFT! <laughs> straight for tit! I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess I'm gonna take this out. Y'all are not gonna be watching this. I am though. Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord! Aww. Aww. <laughs> Suddenly. Aww. <laughs> Guys, you know what kills me in all this? The eye contact! <laughs> he put- he put more loot and he put more spit in his- What kind of walk walk? Why am I here? The sounds! And I'm not just talking about the breathing, dude. It's the- it's the- There is- there is something in my brain that I want to talk about, and it has- I can't make, like, the proper smooth connection between it, but it has to do with the fact that in this episode, twice it's happened, that Kin's side of the family has gifted Horsh's side of the family with certain luxurious things like a guitar that's like warmer in tone for Chai. And then the next would be, you know, Kin lending his lucky gun to Porsche. It was a lot of like them giving. But then finally in the end, it seemed to even itself out. <laughs> Something that I realized, uh, I forgot to mention when I was editing uh, the first five episodes, like that reaction video, which is somewhere on my channel if you haven't seen it, is that I think that this is the first high BL and like just in general, like BL that I've watched on this channel that explicitly has sex scenes, I think, like really explicit sex scenes in that like, you know, there's a lot more texture to it and dimension than that, than, you know, you imagine it as an audience member. Like, I also do see chemistry between the two leads now. I guess, like, after having watched them for seven episodes, it finally clicked somewhere. It does come with its own caveats. I'm excited. I'm excited to watch more and see what uh, happens with the rest of them. But until then, that's it for now. I'm gonna, like, I don't know, try to resolve some issues with my microphone. Maybe even some issues with myself. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this long ass video. But before I leave, I want to leave you with some wise words. We have to bring this back. I haven't done this in a while.
It's okay to be the kind of person that goes straight for the tit. I feel like, you know, I feel like being a bit more sex positive. But if you are the type that goes straight for the tit first, if you're an SFT, a SAF, a SAFT, more power to you, in fact. Like, I hope that you live a long life and that you're happy with your choices. Be more accepting of the softies out there. And check on your fellow softies. If you know anyone that's a straight for the tit type of person, check on them. Make sure they're doing okay. Make sure they're they're drinking uh, water enough for like tit juice. Literally milk. I could have just said milk. POV, you're my mic and you hate me and keep messing up my audio. Oh. 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 Hold on. <laughs> you spit it out. My guy swallows. Okay, that's just his culture. He's a gangster. He's a mafia leader doing this right now. I also don't trust him for some reason. I don't think any of that's true. No, none of this is true. Like, I don't trust him for a goddamn second. I don't trust the one as far as he can haunt me. Which is to say that he can't because he's not dead. Hi kids. Can you hear me? Did you miss me? Me neither. So I'm filming this video on the 25th. Of, Chris of Christmas, the 25th of Christmas, 25th of December. When is this video gonna come out? I'm not sure. I was gonna start this out with like a ho, 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 and just be like, oh, Merry Christmas. But then that wouldn't be accurate <laughs> in a way. So just in case, I'm not sure when I'm gonna post this, if I'm gonna be seeing you still before 2022 ends. So I'm just gonna do all the greetings. I'm gonna do all the video intros. Are you ready for it? I'm not. Uh, Merry Christmas. No, we established that's never gonna happen. I'm not gonna be able to post this today. Belated Merry Christmas. That's a good one. Happy New Year. Second day of the New Year. Happy um, 3rd of January where you're probably writing down your, um, what's it called? The, the list of things that productive people do. Productive and overly positive people do because they think that they're gonna change their lives. That's sweet. Resolutions, that's it. I've never heard of that concept in my entire life. I'm just like, new year, same bitch. <laughs> I don't wanna dawdle too much, even though I've already dawdled for far too long and just get straight into the video so that we can just like dive in, pretend that none of, none of the past, how many, how long has it been since I posted my last video? It's been a month. <laughs> Let's just pretend that like I upload regularly because I can do that despite my poor time management skills and um, in need of sleep. I'll have you guys know too, for those of you that don't follow me on my other social medias, which will be listed here and in the description, I do post on those regularly, but most of my activity I would have to say has been on Instagram because I don't know, I just got used to like making reels and stuff and I've been making a lot of art recently, just trying to like get back into that also. I've been posting a lot of art there, if that's something that you're interested in, because I am going to be posting some about that here as well on my channel because I did talk about that previously in like other videos. So there's gonna be some of that content that will overlap with my YouTube as I'd originally planned and proceeded to not do. <laughs> I'm gonna do Kim Porsche. I'm just gonna watch this show because I want to. What was the last one? Six and seven. Okay, so we should be at eight now. For those of you that are new here, quick rundown is that I don't really do watch with me videos. These reaction videos are gonna be heavily edited it's gonna be focused on like my thoughts about a scene because it's a reaction slash review so if you're looking to watch this video so that you can follow along with the plot you might have a little bit of difficulty because that's not my goal when i record and edit these videos so yeah so just so you know before we get started like i am a little worried because it's been a while since i've dove and dove since dumped since I've dumped into Kin Porsche. And so I'm a little worried that I've forgotten most, if not all of the show. I still know this guy. <laughs> I could probably try to review it by rewatching episodes one to seven 
or even just like rewatching my own videos, my technique right now, my strategy is I'm just going to not do any of those wise things and then make this harder for myself by just dumping into the show again in the middle of it. Kind of like how if you want to learn how to swim, just jump, just jump into the water. Oh, right. They have the previously. So I, I guess I'll be okay. Previously in Glee. I remember that. I'm sure you guys remember that as well. Oh, this is after they fucked. I made love. Made lumped. Sorry? You like hurting this guy and being totally abusive to him? Yeah, that's not, that doesn't bother me at all. Bye. Are they promoting that bread? Is that a sponsorship? <laughs> Imagine. It probably is. That's how you sell bread. Anyone else here that sells bread and you're not doing it like this? Shame on you. Like you're you're fing yourself over. Oh, that's kind of cute. They both have like mismatched socks. They wore each other's socks. Because they sock each other. <gasps> Dude, I can straight up see that though. Can no one else see that? There's a light on it. I am concerned about the wrong things right now. I'm well aware. And also in the middle of it, don't you ever think about the cleanup during? Uh-oh, microphone will I? One minute, 37 seconds later. I think that's better. Who knows? No. One minute, 37 seconds later. I don't know who's doing that inside my microphone. Stop fucking up my audio. <coughs> Two hours later. Bro, straight up. What? Ah, uh, the life has been sucked out of me. Man, like, the drunks always know what's up. Also, like, the speed at which people, like, fall in love in these shows. The stuff of reality shows, bro. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't think that that would be an issue in this for some reason. Oh, they've been doing a lot of that <laughs> trust. But I think they should like... Yeah, exactly. They should be like a couple. They should go out and do couple things. I don't understand. Like, if you don't have your phone, how do you communicate with the other bodyguards, though? Like, you... Having a phone is just practical, especially in this line of work. Oh, he wants to draw! Oh my god! Casual king! Not a response. Okay. All right, boys. Also, honestly, the more that they do this and the more that they interact, and I think about that boyfriend that he had in the past that he, like, shot to death. Mm-mm, bro. Like, the more I'm convinced that the one is still alive, he's out here. <laughs> and he's just, like, having dainty pastries and drinks in a cafe. It's just ridiculous. Oh, oh, no. He's, like, serving him little pastries and feeding him. <laughs> what the f***? Yeah, For real, out of nowhere, though, like, with all the they were doing before and then all the killing and murder and stuff and then suddenly they just at a cafe doing this <laughs> my guy swallows okay that's just his culture that's disrespectful <laughs> he's a gangster we're we're keeping this in mind yes he's a mafia leader doing this right now where did he get that can't have a cell phone but you can have a camera that's a cute camera though gotta say oh they oh, wasted yeah. so much yeah, film. Yeah. That's a nice picture. Aww. Kid was good. Come and show her. Yeah, like you know. Why did you come to her? Is it Mr. Corn or is it just him that's interested? Oh, hold on. <laughs> do they? Do they have? Do they have the same dad? Do they? Hold on, wait. My mind's traveling much, much further and faster than my mouth can handle. Um, if they had the same father, then obviously they'd be related by blood in some way. Why would he take portion? That would be on a need to know basis. Maybe not by me, but like by them at least. At the very least, I'd like to know that they knew what they were getting themselves into with this keeping it in the family type of deal. That's okay. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. At least you were together. You had a day together. It's like, it's cute. Any date is a good date as long as you like the person you're going out with. You could be on a dinner with someone and the food is like five-star Michelin <laughs> with someone that you feel sort of mid about and you'd still kind of feel like the date would be lacking versus being out with someone that you like 
I don't know, in the middle of a tropical depression. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be that bad, but like, you know, I don't know, you could be stranded somewhere trying to catch a cab and you can't go home and nothing in the date really went right. The places that you wanted to go to were closed. But just simply being with them and spending that time with them is already a 10 out of 10. Look at them. They're sitting outside of a venue on a sidewalk eating street food. And they're like the happiest little boys you've ever seen in your life. That's him, isn't it? That's the one. Suddenly horror? Wait, what? Oh my god, water. Underwater kiss? Possibly. They are queer. Like, I don't even know. That wasn't one. <laughs> that's not. I'm sorry, but like, that's, you would have been caught, that's not, I had it, no. Cause diving under, like, into the water makes no sound? But also like, what is it with queers and water? Cause queers and water, huge thing. I've seen like some great queer couples just be in water all the time. Like, water is used as like, a metaphor so many times in queer films. I don't know if you've ever been underwater. <laughs> I don't want to make assumptions about you, but you can't breathe under there. Did you know that? Did you guys know that you can't breathe underwater? You're welcome. It, keeping yourself alive to begin with underwater is a task in and of itself, but then you have to stay cute and then make out with someone without breathing. Like it's not, it's false advertising. It cannot be that cute. And I know I just talked earlier about how like, well, it doesn't really matter if you like the person, any kind of mid situation can turn into something great. But like still though, if you can't breathe in the situation, I doubt that you can turn that around because you're kissing someone that you like. Like you still need to, you'd still need oxygen as a human being, I would assume. Anyway, yeah, that's just my rant about queers and water. The song's so nice. That's that that. Wait, I mean, how was he running? How was he running so fast? He's just stood there one second, and then the moment Port turns away, he's like, <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah, that's full on. That's him. That's the one. There's like, why? Like, ooh, like, why? Not deceased. This guy's alive. <laughs> Ow, I nearly fell. <laughs> In the middle of the street, my guy, like, the acoustics are gonna be horrible. Oh shit. Is that a penis? His mentor is very, uh, was very, was very, he, he was very... In the mouth? Dude, that looked like it was gonna go straight, like, that looked like it was about to be a final destination. Oh, wow. That is a huge betrayal. What a dick. He's not a ghost. That man's alive. I knew it. Am I allowed to say this? The one's cute. <laughs> okay, Porsche, calm down. He's like gripping him. Um, this is interesting. I also don't trust him for some reason. I don't think any of that's true. No, none of this is true. Like, I don't trust him for a goddamn second. Do you know why? It's also, it has to do with the timing of this as well. Like, they had just f***ed with the Italians, like, a few episodes ago. And like they got away with it, and then suddenly the one is back in the picture, and then he was working for them the entire time, and now he's coming back here and he's begging and he's crawling for forgiveness. Like there's no fucking way. Does he not have a bathroom in this cell? I don't know why I'm concerned. I'm a I'm slightly concerned. 
Who is this idiot guarding your post? Who is this? If he tries to manipulate him. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it, mister. Not for a second. He was poisoned and then he was wandering around the city? Bruh. Mm -mm. Nah, give him the evidence first if you're really here to help. There's no way. No, there must be some way that you can like check up on this guy and his past activities. We can't just like go off of his word. Okay, finally, someone talking some sense into these people. Yeah. I wouldn't put this guy, he's so clumsy and he's not exactly subtle or stealthy. I would probably go with literally any other bodyguard anyone else there's so much hinging on being able to keep tabs on vegas and you're gonna need someone that will be always like two three steps ahead of vegas and you're gonna put this guy up to the top really like sometimes kin i just don't understand i don't really stop why are you fixing his phone for him I, I, I can't, I called it by the way. This guy's manipulative. Dude, your boyfriend's right fucking there. Are you kidding me right now? Stop. Oh my god, they're like holding hands and everything. Clearly. Or so, oh. You know, the one where you get under me, you fucking asshole. Oh, Dude, we get it. You used to fucking Islanders. Yeah, just eat. I didn't trust this guy from the get. I just want that to be noted. Never trusted him. Risky business? Perhaps. Damn. He walked all the way over there like that. That's nice. I don't understand why he isn't shirtless. Bottomless was never the way to go, I don't think. That's not a move. Not ever since Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Ladies' secret. This is everyone's secret. Don't gender sluttery. <laughs> Heat him up in other ways, maybe, bruh. Bruh, look at this amateur. Vegas probably already knows that you're behind him and has been aware of you since you woke up this morning. My man. Knew it. Am I missing something? Is something going on here? Are they? No, there's no way. Don't develop feelings for him. You cannot trust this man. There's no way. Unless he's in line for like a, some sort of redemption arc. But I don't know. No. There is no fucking way that he should have this kind of leverage over you. He is one man with evidence that you don't even know if it exists or not. Use your use your little noggin, my dude. No, this dude. I'm frustrated. <laughs> I am frustrated even after harassing him so many times. How is he still allowed near Porsche? With the pants? They both have their pants in the water, and they're queers. Oh no! This lighting, this shot, incredible. It looks so good. I'm not get like. This is crazy. Do you see this? I want to paint this. <laughs> of all the shots to see Vegas and Porsche in, he had to catch them at their most beautifully lit. Is it in the... It's under the bed or... It's under the bed or... Hey. Why? 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 Okay. We don't know that to be true yet. What a shot. It looks like they're about to get hit by a car. Oh, cheek kiss. That's respectable. Oh, it's so wholesome. Oh, no. How? 
Other dumb smiles who asked? Who fucking asked? Everyone can. I'm all the way over the fuck here and I can see it. I don't know why this guy insists that that's not what's happening right now. Was this all part of his grand plan? Have I been pranked? Eh? Burago? Run away with you? Why? Bullshit! Oh my god. The lies we've told this city. Jealous, are we? <laughs> About to lose my mind over this entire show. I swear to god, it's taken me to places that I can only view with reddened vision due to anger. That was quick. That was really quick. Um, that was way too quick. Um, I'm scared. Um, are you gonna answer, you weirdo? Maybe you're just hungry. Oh my god, I'm <laughs> Deflecting 101. I am the master at that. I would know. Maybe I've said the same thing as a response. <laughs> Oh my god, Kin's suit? You can't see it. Hold on. Damn, Mr. Kin. You're dressed up to the nine stick. Oh my god, they're talking about plot and I'm distracted by Kin's suit. Bruh, I wouldn't touch another man's gag ball. Oh yeah, we love a good warehouse. A little warehouse kidnapping. You were kicking around a child, you dumbass. Cute dumbass. <laughs> Oh no, they're working together, huh? Vegas and Tawan? Oh no, 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 no. But this wasn't the fucking plan! No, it was it. You went, you went rogue, bitch. Good lord. I cannot believe Kin fell in love with this guy. Oh no. Every time he does that, he's about to do something really bad. What you say? Do it. Running through <laughs> the shootout. <laughs> what a <laughs> He's so graceful. Oh my god, he came. He's alive? Did he get shot in the heart? Oh, d does he have a vest? I mean, that's what I've always asked too in the beginning. Yeah, like, why the fuck are the bodyguards going in here bare? Oh my god, I just realized what? that it actually makes. So much sense. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to like. It kind of like makes sense as to why the one fell in love with him. Like it also kind of plays into Vegas's whole game plan with Porsche when he found out that like Kin was very much into him. He just started seducing every single person that Kin is um, is connecting with or that he trusts. The minute Kin trusted this guy again. He killed Big, and you were like literally two seconds too late. I hate this. No one had to die here. Jesus Christ! Porsche is really digging into him. Not only is he about to kill him, he's also telling him that like he's not worthy of love. Hey. Yeah, I mean he deserves more than that. Oh, he met this, but not the two of you as. Possible brothers. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy. No. No. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> what if he's into this? What if he enjoys this? Those clamps? What's that for? Why are there two? Oh, no. Oh, it's so much worse than I thought. I thought, oh, he was going a little bit more north of that. But no, we're going down south, brothers. We're going all the way down today, boy. <laughs> Does that turn you on? Does that turn him on? Who's turned on? Damn, so many people are dying in this. That's crazy. Again, really sorry that I keep smiling while saying these brutal things. It's just like an unexpected thing for me from a BL. Just the amount of... Death, blood, and torture. Apologize? For what? And then you put him in behind bars for it. Yeah, and then you trusted your ex again. Exactly. 
trapped him with a fart. Classy. What do you mean? You're a couple. This is what couples do. Dutch ovens and weird ass like dirty jokes. And then sex, I guess. Like if you're into that. I mean, do you need an office manager or something? Maybe Porsche can do something else for the family. Aww. This show is so wild because there was so much also happening in the beginning, but none of it was really... I mean, it was violent, but it wasn't like this level of violence that we're seeing right now. Honestly, like the tonal changes can be kind of jarring from time to time. And that also contributes to me not really knowing where the show is going to go. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I guess, is up to you. <laughs> Very interesting what they did with the one. The one was introduced as a guy that has been sort of constant in Kin's life. Like they've known each other since college. And there was almost like a sweetness and an innocence to him the first time that we saw him in person because he was like yeah he was vulnerable he was helpless but even like his face like the and and like the the implication as well that comes with like knowing someone for that long and then falling in love with them like being really close and best friends for a long time and then falling in love with them and then suddenly they betrayed you because you fell in love with vegas like that that story is so tragic after this i don't know what i want to watch like if i want to watch another bl or if i kind of want to go out into the wild on my own and maybe feature something that i've watched recently that meant something to me i miss heartstopper hi this is editor noah editing on the 22nd of january don't tell anyone even though i just told you i am sick I'm sorry that I sound so shit. Even though I sound really bad right now, it is no worse than the audio in this video. What happened was that in the middle of me filming this video, because my mic was like spiking, it was doing that thing where it was going and stuff. And I couldn't find like a decent fix for it. I started recording the audio of this through my phantom power, which you can see me holding up here. It was not working because I was holding it way too close to my mouth there's no excuse i fucked up basically and so the rest of this audio is just so unlistenable it's an audio nightmare by the end of this video i was just saying that i'm still watching young royals and i'm really excited about that i do miss heartstopper very much cannot wait for that to come back uh, i also talked about incorporating a little bit more art content into my channel i know that's not necessarily what you subscribed for um but i also you know i also don't want to apologize <laughs> for the fact that like i've i have new interests um in addition to what this channel really is about and i want to share that with people i'm also working on you know making a web comic and creating stories of my own instead of just like reacting to other people's stories so these are like huge big things that i'm very far away from achieving but definitely like this is a process that i want to be documenting and I want to be sharing it with you guys. Hope you're having a good day taking care of yourself. Don't get sick. Don't be like me. <laughs> Wise words, don't get sick. That's all I got for you right now is like, take care of yourself, health as well. <laughs> you never really realize <laughs> how good you have it until you, you know, get a little bit inconvenienced. And so yeah, take care of yourself. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <clears throat>
No, I have not. I'm starting on episode 11. Yeah, no, this is a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've seen 10 episodes. Uh, it's been seven months since I watched the show again. It's called Kin Porsche. And good start, yeah. Yeah. And um, it's about two guys, one named Kin, the other named Porsche. Kin is a, he is the second son of a mafia leader and is being trained to take over as the mafia head leader yes oh, no. there are three siblings all three children are protected by like a posse of bodyguards and so where porsche comes in is he is one of the hired bodyguards for kin oh. tell me if you've read this fic before um, <laughs> <laughs> and the reason that porsche takes the job is because his uncle basically fucked him into a world ton of debt not oh i shouldn't have paused there <laughs> but, yeah <laughs> Confuse me for a second. I'm working on my cadence. Uh, I'll try to... This this will not do on Broadway. Um, I'm trying my best. Um, Porsche is now in a ton of debt. I'm actually not sure if he already paid that off. He needs a lot of money is basically what's going on. And he also has a little brother. And so he had to part from his little brother, go off into the mafia, become a bodyguard for Kin without any, any experience of bodyguarding whatsoever. But for some reason, Kin's father... I'm remembering some things. So with some of the tea. So like for some reason, Kin's father is very keen on getting Porsche to be a bodyguard within the mafianess of it all. And then there's like this bad guy named Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> is, he the, is, is he just bad? What does he do? That's the thing. Like is That's he the really the know. bad guy? Like the story is trying to make it seem like he's this this really cold hearted guy that just is out for blood. I'm sure we'll get like a what's it called? A summary or yeah. yeah, actually that's it. Yeah, that's that is what I remember of it because I pay attention. I understand perfectly. Uh, so it's like you watch all the show 10, now. right? Exactly. Yeah, I can tell you every single episode now at this point. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Maya, that you're jumping into this episode. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, we'll power through. It's gonna be fine. Oh my God, La Forte. Oh my God. Previously. <gasps> Oh my god, oh, Reggie no. died! Oh, Wait, which one is that? <laughs> um, fuck. I'm already confused. I forgot his name, but he's a pretty good character because, like, he is okay. the only one during the time, right? That, like, this, you can see here the, the. Oh my god, this is so much harder <laughs> to try to win <laughs> than I had anticipated. In the previous episode, the love interest that, like, Vegas put into the picture, that guy's name's Tawan, he tried mm -hmm. to kill. <laughs> He tried to kill Porsche, Porsche's brother. Um, there was a whole thing in a warehouse. Guns were a blazing, okay? Justice prevails because the brother did not die. Instead, this bodyguard is the one that took the bullet for I think I think that was either I think that was Porsche. And the thing about that bodyguard uh, is that he's actually a really good one because like he was the only one that wasn't buying Vegas and Tawan's bullshit. During the time the king was a hundred percent. Because the one was his best, like his first love, and he mm -hmm. thought the one died is, is crazy. So like the one did not. <laughs> did not... <laughs> you know what I'm realizing? I love this show. This is great. <laughs> Suddenly, <laughs> I miss this show so much. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know anyone's face, so I'm probably gonna be like asking like who's that a lot just yeah, so everyone prepare for that like every scene i'm gonna be like okay so who's who's that i don't you're gonna be getting two reactions in one video which is <laughs> yeah. nice okay this is bang for your buck and by buck i mean like this video is free where you're gonna see someone that is like getting back into it but has like trauma from the show and then someone that's about to be traumatized and we love that yes. yeah we love pre-trauma <laughs> reactions wow Oh my god! And then Pete got kidnapped? I forgot! Oh my god. And then Vegas like started. <laughs> Damn, okay. Shit. Oh my god, it's still going! Oh my god, he's getting beat up. Yeah, he is. Oh no, he's gonna fuck him instead! Let him go! What are you doing, you disgusting man? Oh my god, he's actually gonna fuck him. I was joking. I know, yeah. 
Oh my god, he's gonna. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not what you saw, apparently. Did he read that upside down? That's kind of impressive. He actually read it from the side, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> staring is. <laughs> it's such prolonged staring. Yeah, prolonged silence while staring. Yeah. Oh shit. You know, I did say before in one of my videos, like, this just looks like a bunch of boys running around with guns and that have daddy issues. And honestly, like, yeah. Vegas completed that Pretty circle. Much. Yeah. <laughs> That's the worst kind of guys. The one with daddy issues and guns. True. And never wearing, like, bullet vests, like, bullet safety vests yeah. for some reason. What is going on? Why is people <laughs> demonic all of a sudden? That guy was like, he was like Ayen. He was Baby Bang. I mean, Ayen is the way he is now too, so maybe. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's true. Okay. Oh, okay. You spent like less than a day with him? What's going on? <laughs> it's so fun. There are so, like, why are there so many moments of prolonged silences? I guess tension? Yeah. yeah. Was it like this in every episode? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the whiplash. I, that's exactly what I was about to say. Oh my god, that's <laughs> awful. They forgot about them and he was getting tortured the entire time. Oh, no. His hands are tied. Yeah, he was tied up. <laughs> Literally yeah, and oh, metaphorically. Oh, he senses there's something wrong. Oh, we're back here. Okay, okay. What did she ever do to you? <laughs> Why is she involved in this suddenly? What? Are we calling the grandmother? <laughs> hey, grandma. <laughs> Funny thing <Hi>. happened. No, you should I am not even a good kid. I am not even a good kid. I am not He's talking to his grandmother. Was this the guy you said you weren't sure was the bad guy? Because, <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> Why? Are you getting bad vibes what? from this? Really? <laughs> Is this no, weird? I, just, I don't know. You know, sometimes the red uh, color scheme will indicate. Yeah, red flags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So this is the eldest brother <laughs> of the Mafia family. It's actually really not. Like, once he signs those contracts, he's gone. Like... <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, yeah, they're in love. <laughs> and I think it's pretty obvious now. He's not just my boyfriend and a bodyguard. He's also a brother. He's also a family guy, you know. Yeah, he's a family man. Oh, okay. Some important context as well. This is something that happened in like one of the episodes and I'm still a little bit confused to this day. I am not sure if Kin and Porsche are slightly related because, and maybe some of this will be revealed as we go on through the episodes, but it was sort of like teased that the murder of Porsche's mother or and like parents, because they're dead, um, side note, uh, the father of Kin is somewhat involved in it, and somehow the mother, Portia's dead mother, and Kin's alive father of the Mafia, had some sort of relations? This is a great show. Like, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I believe it, I believe it. We have live tasting and incest. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What else could you want Potential. Show? Alleged. Alleged. Alleged, Alleged yeah. We'll still, that's still excuse to me, be, me. yeah, <laughs> revealed. These are all bodyguards. They just act like this, and I love that. I love that for them. Yeah. I trust them. Me too. Maybe not as bodyguards, but like as, <laughs> just as like people. people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is crazy. This is like a whole talk now. Okay.
ได้ครับไงส์มันจะเป็นอุปสรรค I mean yeah no I think it's fine no it'll definitely this is how no no it's fine no this is gonna get in their way so make him quit I like just let him resign. Are you gonna let him be another guy? Oh, I'm hoping that's not the case, but. Oh, what? I do not trust this dad whatsoever. Like, there's something about him. He's I mean, kind he's of bad. Exactly. And the mafia leaders. So. Yeah, but like he for sure like has given daddy issues as well to some of these men, and like that's lovely. What a drone shot! <laughs> Imagine living there. Oh my god! I mean, done. Looks great. <laughs> I love my life there. Done. But this is the safe house. Vegas of the last. Yes. Ah. Oh. Vegas of the last. Yes. If you're Vegas, you want to get something else. I'll find you for 24 hours. Nice. Not a problem. They're not gonna need anything. We're just friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, where is he? Where did you put him, you piece of shit? Where is he? Is he in the couch? What's going on? Is he inside the couch? <laughs> did you? Is he the couch? Turn him into curtains. I was like, "This is his house." Oh my god! I know the stairs are so nice too. It just it keeps it open. Mm. You're at Noah's architecture channel. <laughs> <laughs> Digest. Somebody must be hungry. Right. Yeah, is you hungry for some dick? Like where is your hedgehog? He? Speaks English. Next, I... Is that a wrench? A giant wrench? What is that for? There it is. Oh shit! Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure if they're going to. Cause why does he look like he likes it? <laughs> why are you smiling like that? Yeah, that's that's okay. Right? <laughs> sure. And he was never like this. For 10 episodes straight, Pete was just like Ayan Egipa. And then suddenly he's like, <laughs> like, where did that come from? They're just giggling together. It's fun. Good yeah. for them. You kiss your grandmother with that mouth, bro. <laughs> did that scare you, buddy? You scared me, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, he's trying to choose the new bodyguard to replace mm -hmm. Porsche. I see. Oh my god, choose her. He's great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he was trying to choose people that he was for sure Kin wouldn't be attracted to. Yeah. Are those the parents? Car accident. Two rich deaths. The folders are racist. <laughs> Two rich deaths. This is the scene. <gasps> but then he died. I don't know if I like this yet. I'm not gonna lie to you. I just don't understand what's going on. Maybe he's really yeah. soft. Ow. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not the. What kind of Asian parent kid? He's bleeding! <laughs> oh shit, yeah. They learn how to pick locks in bodyguards. Uh... Actually, no, it isn't the show. They were handcuffed and then thrown into the bottom of the pool. Where is he gonna go though? I have no you idea. Know, <laughs> Time to swim, I guess. Are there like crocodiles in the water or something? That's what it kind of looks like. Mm. I mean, it's either Vegas or the crocodile. Never mind. Oh. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> okay, that's a. <laughs> that's a weird thing to say. That's a moment no. to bring that up. Ah uh, yes, my son. This is the club owner, the basically the main character of the entire show. Oh, she used to be Porsche's boss, because Porsche used to work at this club. This is where he would bang women. I As a bodyguard or no? Just like as himself. <laughs> oh. But what? He didn't work as a bodyguard or no? No. Oh. Surprise him. You can't do that. They do that every night. Do something else. What the fuck? Yeah, do something new, bro. New, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Childhood's end. The way this is so on the nose. I love this show. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Damn, look at your son, at least. Look at him. <laughs> is he wearing, like, ten scarves, do you think? I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's crazy. With different patterns, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> what a madman. <laughs> The more powerful you are, the more scarves you wear. Yeah. Damn. She gets the scarves. 
Not even worthy of being my <sighs> sons? Is that all you do, sir? Yeah. You just like walk into a scene and then just like inflict <laughs> trauma and then walk away? That's crazy. Power move, honestly. <laughs> True. Also, like, how do you go about your day after this? Yeah. Like, what do you do? I guess you torture just... a guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, no, he's so sad. He's so sad. Is he gonna, like, hug him or something? I hope so. Oh, no. He is not. Not Jason. <laughs> <laughs> that poor little hedgehog just watching this yeah. whole thing. Maybe he's actually unconscious. Maybe he's been unconscious for a while. Hmm. <laughs> His wounds are still freshly open. That's yeah. crazy. Oh shit, did I hurt him? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, is he sick? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's crazy. Does he have a fever? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> How could this have happened? <laughs> <laughs> I think took so good care of him though. Do me Marianne for a post Oh, they're, oh cheer they're, they're cheering a chair. <laughs> they're Ed Sheeran? What? <laughs> <But yeah. laughs> what is it? It looks... Oh. You know what? They kept doing this. Like, Tangun did this in like the early episodes too. Or like in the episodes before where like... They would watch a thing and then they would keep asking, like, what do you think about the protagonist? Will they die? <laughs> and now I'm thinking, like, are you hinting at something? You can't do this. Hmm. Like, suddenly, or is major that character they death? want you to think. That's so hmm. true. Totally possible. I'm just hmm. saying, like, we are just, like, a few episodes away. You really going to kill some people? You would. <laughs> I only just came here though. Come on. That's true. You're just getting to know them. Yeah. Oh well. And for what? <laughs> Does he know? I wonder if he knows that the youngest brother is Kim, who is his love interest in the show. Oh, uh, okay. He's finding out for the first time. Oh my god. <laughs> That's sweet. I guess, yeah. <laughs> it's so sweet when you, like, torture a guy and then the band-aids on his chest, I guess. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurt them so that you can heal them. Mm. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Thank <laughs> uh. you. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Mama bird him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello. Look, <laughs> look, look. Look, look, look. Oh shit. Sure. <laughs> okay, sure. Trauma dump time, mayhaps? Mm, let's go. I, I was, was seven, seven when I first killed the <laughs> <laughs> but will he ever be satisfied? He will never be satisfied! <laughs> what? <laughs> I love that for them. It's so nice. <laughs> Aww. Except torture, you're great at torture. <laughs> Don't worry. You are so good at torturing. You're seeing that after being tortured for several days. <laughs> I love this show, dude. This is the best show to have ever been created. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it was seven. <laughs> when my dad. <laughs> no, he beat me harder. <laughs> <laughs> Whipping it with the belt, dude. <laughs> yeah, he did. Probably. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so it was really bad. They beat us because they suck. That's right. That's right. Let's <laughs> go. Look at him realizing this for the first time. Aww. Oh, is he mad now? Yeah, a little mm. bit. 
Oh no, it's bit. cute. They're flirting. It's cute. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. Or it's bad. <laughs> some bad sluts. <laughs> so, <laughs> happy him. <gasps> hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> yes, that is I. Yes, that is him. <laughs> You're telling me though that this house is so big that this is the first time they ran into each other. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. That's insane. Mafia money. <laughs> Was it all a lie? <laughs> oh my god. Damn. <laughs> That's crazy. Huh? That's crazy. <gasps> Oh shit! That's not an answer! You fucking. Oh shit! Is that a sorry I'd never loved you or a sorry for loving you though? <laughs> really makes you think. This man, this poor little poor chai, Aww. sang to him in the street with bad acoustics Aww. and all. He risked his yeah. artistry for love. And for what? Oh <laughs> for what? For what? Poor chai. I'm so sorry. Why is this flying backwards? I don't know how helicopters work. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds you of that scene from The Untamed where like the dancing queen had just been awakened, the rock statue dancing mm -hmm. queen. And so she was dancing around and like killing cultivators left and right. Like people were in trouble. <laughs> Wei Wushan showed up. He was like, so, like he flute. was crafting, yeah. yeah, but he crafted the flute mm, from like a yeah. bamboo that he had just cut, yeah. and it was so intense. Everything was happening: music, people dying, Stone Queen dancing, carrying cultivators and shooting them left and right. And then cut to Zhen Chang Lan <laughs> oh having brunch, and I was just like, "That is." Oh my god, I forgot about that. That's one of my favorite scenes yeah yeah that's my first favorite scene and then my second favorite scene is the one in the cave where the headband oh yeah no i was like mm. that's a good one i thought you said the head bang i was like the head bang <laughs> oh <laughs> that was a deleted scene so <laughs> oh, i love you he said Mwah. do you like sausage he said <laughs> <laughs> i do <laughs> <laughs> We've been trying to reach you about your car <laughs> That's cute. What a filter. Yeah, it's adorable. Yeah. Soft little pastels. Meanwhile, your bodyguard is getting tortured still. Yep. Or maybe not Very at tortured. this point. Maybe they're just having they're falling in love. Mayhap conversations. What if the next cut they're like having a candlelit dinner? Like what kind of yeah. whiplash? Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> that would be insane. Don't mind at all. His father? Okay, my. Oh, he has a bruise. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what he Because now you know the truth. <laughs> the truth that they suck. <laughs> I love how you can just heal that kind of trauma overnight. It's. Yeah. Um... No fucking way he cooked them a hot meal. Hang on. Yes. Ow, ow. It's gonna be hot. It is, like, he doesn't care, I guess. Yeah. He's experienced worse. Noodles. Instant nudes. Yeah. So quick. <laughs> You're so silly for that. You already put it in your mouth. Yeah. I thought you wanted to die. He could put poison in the water too, though. That's true. And also, why did oh, you say that out him. loud? Oh, yeah, yes. Oh, shit, what if my uh, kidnapper who's right here put poison in my food? <laughs> That's crazy, right? What would have happened? <laughs> wash my mouth. <laughs> Don't you dare smile, you fucker. <laughs> oh, we're flying forwards. What a guy. Vegas, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's forwards this time. <laughs> Let's go moving forward. Uh, yes? <laughs> Okay. I'm jumping right into the next one. Before we do, any questions, Maya? No, it's clear as day. <laughs> Love that. Love that. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> Let's go. So soon, eh? I will do my worst. Thank you. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I do like a good on screen sibling bullshit. Is he gonna get kidnapped now? Every time there's a person on screen. <laughs> <laughs> What? No, hey, wait, no, you fucker, don't do this. <gasps> no! 
do, bro. I guess it kind of like makes sense because everything about music now just reminds him of Kim because like he yeah. got really into it and then Kim got him that guitar. Oh, he bought the guitar. Um, and it wasn't just like a guitar too that he bought. It's a guitar that he used in his career. Like it's a special guitar. So. <laughs> My boyfriend is missing. <laughs> 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 Who are you with? Who are you singing? Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh my god, is he gonna pay off all of Porsche's debt? <laughs> what? What? Interesting. It was you? I thought it was your dad that wanted you. Wait, this is a little bit like Beauty and the Beast, the way that they mm. relate on books. <laughs> yeah, the library. <laughs> Please read them out. Yeah, I want to know. Yeah. Maybe. Oh wow. Oh. <laughs> oh. Same. Same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Universal donor. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Wow. So true. Oh my god. Can't lie. What does A B say? Yeah. Idiot. <laughs> Idiot. Torturer. <laughs> เป็นคนที่แปลกๆภายนอกดูเข้าถึงได้แต่จริงๆแล้วเข้าถึงโคตรยากเดาอารมณ์ไม่ค่อยถูกเดี๋ยวดีเดี๋ยวร้ายหน
cared, would you? Probably, probably, yeah. 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 Just like it's assume that they have kids. Your friend killed someone. <laughs> I thought the iPad was in the folder. Like, <laughs> yeah. that's crazy. <laughs> was it? <laughs> no, it, looked like I think it. So. it really looked like it. Uh, this was Porsche. I don't think that's the whole truth, though. What? What? Don't no, stop don't... him. Yeah, yeah, don't fucking. He has something to say. Leave it. Leave him. Music is thrown yeah, off. I don't, I'm not sure. What's... I know. Me too. Because it's prolonged. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is he dead? Please don't kill the hedgehog. Please kill the head. Head the hoggy. Head the hoggy. Head the hoggy. Make it a better place. Make it a better place. Oh, the then get some. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to the vet. Yeah. What? What? It can't be right. <gasps> you can escape. Like, hasn't he been able to do that entire time though? He did it once. Yeah, with the with the key with the belt. Oh yeah, I guess. There was he couldn't put pants on. It's crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't go back for him now. What are you? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. No, what are you? Where is he? Bro! Come on. <laughs> you are so whipped. For the- your torturer? And the, maybe it's for the head girl again. <laughs> I- nah. It's for the torturer <laughs> and you know it. Okay? <laughs> Have they, what was Come the on. plan? Hi, I'm free. Um, <laughs> and hey, I chose Dama. to come here. Yeah. I'm tired, but I... Aww. Rip. Rip. Reshoot. <laughs> Stop. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you watched my only friend. I believe that. Oh, Until damn. now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you comfort him. Oh no, he's actually he's so sad. He's so sad. What's that like? Like seeing your torturer cry mm. in such a vulnerable a pet, state? Yeah. Yeah. What does that do to you? He's like, okay, so I'm gonna go. Or <laughs> so um. Anyway. Oh, just set him free, maybe. You're free to mm. go, and then he doesn't go. Crazy. Why you not? Good question, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also wondering. Oh, no! That is fucked. I didn't leave you. He died. He died. Bro. What? Yes. Thanks. I suppose. Maybe because you what your people. I mean, it might be that. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, not <laughs> that guy, you know. But <laughs> one minute, thirty-seven seconds later, slap him. Yeah. Do it. Just, I want. I just want to see what happens. <laughs> Snap out of it! Snap out of it! I can True. hurt you instead. So hurt, yeah. <laughs> so hurt him yourself. Damn. Like he just, the sadness to the madness to the horny, is like yeah. a weird. <laughs> I I wanna fuck. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay. I would rather get, like, verbal confirmation. <laughs> yeah, come on now. Just say you like it, then I'll be okay with this. Oh, that's not a no! That's... not a yes. There we go.
I or... guess he was always kind of into it or something. Yeah, I don't know. Are his wounds okay? I was just gonna say, I was like, you're gonna rip his wounds. <laughs> I know! Oh shit! Oh my god, he does not care. <laughs> not the tattoo about honesty. Oh my god. <laughs> what is eating his sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> sandwich. Okay. Now you're tied up again. You eat yeah, dumbass. Yeah. I is guess that it's nicer. I, I was gonna say. Yeah, nicer. than the handcuffs. Oh, the handcuffs yeah. I guess. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I mean, I wouldn't know. Yeah. Both look horrible. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Sandwich. Go ahead, get it. Whoa! His legs are like chained up. That's crazy. The, um, does he have an AC in there? Probably not. Doesn't look like he does, because no. then there wouldn't be room for the chains. Ah, that's true. What's that one like? There was like a manhwa that I read that like feels a lot like this. Killing stocking. Hmm. That's the one. No Aww. way he's giving them libations yeah, and bread. Been. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Do they have anything to put on the bread or no? Probably not, because like I think they're no, sponsored by this bread. <laughs> oh, thank you, Dad. Uh, thank you, Dad. I'll just have the bread, please. <laughs> I love this bread. <laughs> Packed with nutrients. I'm so confused about this house then. Like, was it up for collateral? Like, do they no longer own it? Like, I don't know. Stop. <laughs> Damn, okay. The blazers like an ad now. Marketing. They do that. Oh my god. I love Ty BL sometimes. This is insane. <laughs> it's great. It's really filmed like an ad too. It's great. Yes. You get that bag. <laughs> and that bread, I guess. And the bread. Yeah. Oh, that's a oh, good one. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he wants to. I actually do wonder if, like, Kin likes it. Mm. Oh. <laughs> That's not what he asked you. <laughs> it's not. It's such a beautiful house. It's I don't understand. Great. What do you mean? I mean, I haven't seen the inside. But still, it looks. It's nice. lovely. I've been inside. As long as I got you. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's the move. Yeah. That's a lovely kitchen. What do you mean? Look at that fucking kitchen. That's true. His last boyfriend mm. died. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. But that guy, like, played him. Yeah, there's some Aww. dude he met in college, and like oh, they just like fell in love. But like the guy was just trying to get information out of him. The servant. Yeah, but the food. There's so much cleanup. Way too yeah. much for like instant noodles, eggs, and like how did that happen? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. This is the picture of the man who drove the car. Yo, as a kid, imagine. <laughs> imagine. <laughs> oh. Is that oh. the inspector guy? Oh no, we would know. I don't trust you. Mm. Are we gonna go there? Either like, or you're just trying to get this man killed for some reason. Yeah. Like. I oh, don't know. Oh, Such a shady dad. Shady. Yeah, the dads so far have not been great in this show. So like, mm. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Is that him? Oh yeah, I don't know him at all. Oh, this poor man. In broad daylight, the balls on this kid. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, he's going to the doctor or something. I know. He's about to marry oh, go with you. And hold your hand. <laughs> go hold your hand while you shoot the old man. <laughs> it's just water in his flowers. <gasps> he's got kids. Yeah, there's what? no way. Yeah. Don't do it. It's not worth it. No. This is not going to bring your parents back, and you know it, girl. No. What a shot. Artistic yeah. cinematography. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Damn. Emotional. Um. Bonding between sure, boyfriends, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Not That's how you do it. <laughs> in a car yeah. with a gun. <laughs> The gun, as your partner was about to shoot yep. an old man. <laughs> yep, outside the house of the man who killed your parents. True, 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 true. That's what this is. The, you know, in like wedding vows, like sickness and in health, this mm. is si- the sickness. <laughs> Here we have the sickness. Damn. Aww. Aww. It's okay. It's okay. I was about to kill that man. I know. <laughs> I know, babe. I know, it's okay. That was so crazy of you. <laughs> you. That's so weird of you. Why did you do that? <laughs> it's okay. Time to grieve again. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, let's go. Once again. I guess like now he's past anger. It took him a while, but he's here. Mm. Is this acceptance? Where are we? Their outfits look so good together. Look like, at yeah. the lovely little color combo. Oh, this is where they first met? Oh. Maybe. I'm not sure. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. Pop, pop. Yeah. Oh, and the end of them, too. Because tonight will be. That guy just comes out. Because tonight will be the night. Whoa, almost fell over. Love that guy. Best guy. Yeah. Best guy. I will be the night that I will fall for you. Now, one day, we'll have some more fun. Let's play again. Go to Kim. I'm Maya. <laughs> and I'm Noah. You're watching You're the Disney Channel. Go to Pod. He's he's here too. Good for him. That's good. Aww. Aww. You do that on first meeting. That's exactly. <laughs> I was about to say. You are so close. <laughs> Aww. Big assumption. So. <laughs> Big assumption on our first meeting. Kind of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Humbar. Humbar. <laughs> Stay humbar. <laughs> Stay humbar, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the music is not playing. I know it's done. I still feel it in my soul. I do not remember this friend at all. <laughs> but here he is. What's the color? Is, is it, it like green? I thought it was blue. Oh, maybe. It is blue! It's nice! Blue. <laughs> Yeah. That is actually such a move. Like, after every heartbreak, yeah. change your hair. Deal. <laughs> Don't drink too much. Be careful. Or do what you drink want. Drink responsibly. <laughs> oh no, he hates it. He's like, wow, this is alcohol. I've never had this before. <laughs> oh my god. That's crazy. <sighs> what is this? Is it whiskey? It's a no. <laughs> Maybe. I'm not even sure. There are shots on the table, too. A little yeah. lazy Susan. Love that. Good. Oh, <gasps> He's getting guy. corrupted. Yeah. One minute, 37 seconds later. That's quick. Yeah. <laughs> Three minutes later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that a weed? No, this is a crayon. A drug? A <laughs> is that a weed? Is that no, a weed? but like <laughs> No, but it's like a hard drug. That's crazy. Yeah. Kim! <gasps> Good for Kim. Get Kim him. said nothing goes past those lips but me. And I like <laughs> that. Good for him. It's a lurpy. Because I learned. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine he actually said that. That'd be kind of fun. I would love that. Because I learned. Your business is my business. <laughs> We're business partners. <laughs> LP. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Subscribe. <laughs> this is not on the LP channel. But subscribe to our channel. Subscribe. <laughs> Are you ready yet? <laughs> I think he is. Oh my god. Interesting. Insects? Yeah, I guess. I wonder if it's oh, good. Way. Is that real? No, that's not... mm. I came this mm-hmm. close to trying a scorpion. Oh. But I didn't. <laughs> but I didn't. I backed I out. 
Insects. Fun thing about me. <laughs> I would try it though. I'd be open to like just once. And if it's yeah. fried. Is that real? People in the Maybe. comments. Did they really do this? <laughs> Did they order that or was that just something they found? I mean, the one that I saw in Thailand, they were in like carts being like. Yeah. So maybe they stopped the vendor. <laughs> Cigarette ad? You can't do that. <gasps> Is it? Nah, I don't think it's sponsored. We didn't see the brand. Mm, that's true. But he does it so nicely. He does! He looks so cool doing it. That's yeah. his uncle. Suddenly. Oh, shit. And also, did he just replace Kin or what? I don't- where's Kin now? <laughs> yeah. Did he get kidnapped? Kidnapped. Kidnap. I mean, actually true though, because like, mm -hmm. this uncle did nothing for them. Yeah. yeah. Ever since he left, they've been thriving. I think this is the same music that like Sam and Colby use in their... <laughs> you know what? Probably. In their videos. Probably. Yeah. Would make sense. It does like a lot of the score here does sound like stock music. Mm. But I mean, you know, it's the way. Whatever works. Yeah. Yeah. I'm oh, down. Man. Oh, well, before I forget, this is just like random note has nothing to do with the show. But like oh, something that I've noticed a lot is like people like to comment on the music that I like to use in my videos. And one of the <clears> ones that like I the one of the common comments I get is about the that one audio that I use by classic high and it's like the one that's like na, 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 na. Huh, that one yeah hmm so that's a fun one um it's a good one. and people like find it really funny like whenever yeah. i use that to show like the you know uh, gays getting to know each other getting intimate and shit i really like the song i think it fits into that vibe really well mm -hmm. i do not know the reference to it at all. <laughs> Like, I don't know if there's actually, yeah. like, a queer lore for it. Mm -hmm. If there is, I wouldn't know. The only reason why I use it is because I heard it in a, a cave, like, like a cave variety a couple of times. Mm. And then I tried to find that that sound. Because they would only ever play it when it was two guys yeah. flirting and stuff. Yeah. But I don't know what it references. That's Me neither. the only place I've seen it in. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea. But it's everywhere. People. It is, huh? Yeah. Do they use it for like different genders also? Not that I know. Hmm. Me just crunching in my mic. Actually, that's fine. <laughs> we'll take it. Nice. Asthma. Asthma? Misophonia. Mm. <laughs> Which oh, one? <laughs> Maybe both. Maybe both. Get out of here. You're probably in blood AB type anyway. <laughs> oh shit. Hey, reference. Reference back to <laughs> reference this episode. Hey. <laughs> you really said. He <laughs> <laughs> did. He did say that. It was so loud. Yeah, yeah. So it so loud. Really did. I'm stuck like this now. Oh no. <laughs> Get it out of my face. This is so stupid. He keeps throwing this in their faces like, I took care of you and your brother when you were little. Like, blah, blah, blah. Like, what the fuck, though? Like, that's the bare minimum. They would have had nothing. They were orphans. Yeah. I raised you because I had to. Oh, yeah. No. Like, wow. Look at this guy. The audacity. The audacity. It's not that expensive. Nah. Fuck off. And he's like a massive gambler as well. So like... Mm. How much is that actually? I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> Five million. Do you have any questions before we start this episode, Naya? Um... How are you feeling? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> That's good. Um, I'm feeling like a, a little butterfly. That's great. Thank you. Do you know how sexy you are? No. No. <laughs> He's handcuffed again. Good for him, I guess. You are a freak. What do you mean? When you belong to Kapok, you can't get it. But you're a good person. You're a good person. Alright, chill out. Now you're just an idiot. I'm not sure. 
Go okay, now. Why are they standing so far mm. apart? For the shot symmetry. Mm, I see. Bar, you need time. We all two come back. Papa, Papa is insane. Yeah. Think about this, chatters. Do you call your dad <laughs> Papa? <laughs> Think about that one. <laughs> Think about that for a second. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have a dad. I'm so sorry. Cool. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> <Shit. laughs> <laughs> 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 yeah, it's okay. Oh, you shit. don't have to be a part of this. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's fine. We're going to let the adult go. Mm-hmm. We started to look too short. I mean, I'm not sure either. Like, at least Porsche is not buying this bullshit. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Porsche. Yes, poor sure. How dare you? I was about to. I was assuming the position. You know the one. You know it was about to happen there. It was close, but I didn't do it. I did. You don't want to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good on you, bro. I didn't do it. I was thinking it. I took one for the team. You did. There is no I in team. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. No. But there is <laughs> because an, <laughs> an I in falling <laughs> in love. That's an I will be the night. God damn it, what happened? <laughs> oh, we should, yeah. The way this man is a good cook. No oh my god. Way. See, guys, torturers are humans too. They have feelings too. They can mm -hmm. also cook. Remember that <laughs> next time someone cooks for you, <laughs> they might be a torture. <laughs> Five signs that you're with a cook. <laughs> He's so happy. Oh, I'm eating food. What do you mean? <laughs> He's so disappointed in the dish. <laughs> I told you nothing. <laughs> And he's hungry. Come on. Oh Jesus! You're just like your mother. Your mother. <laughs> Get him. Why are you face him, please? Oh no! Oh, no! Don't do it. Ow. Where are you going all the time? I didn't <laughs> beat your son! Where did you go? Where did you come from? And where are you going? Where are you going? The rice is on the floor. Where do you go? Where do you go? When the rice is on the floor. <laughs> Make a song. Honestly, fake title. Where do you go? Oh. When the rice is on the floor. Yeah. In parentheses, wasted, but still Potential. happy about it. <laughs> First yeah, hashtag <laughs> mafia. <laughs> mafia. <Yeah>. Anal. <laughs> <laughs> Butt sex, yeah. Butt <laughs> sex, yeah. <laughs> Anal stuff. Have I mentioned Anal butt stuff. sex yet? <laughs> Dude, bully, I'm not going to get hurt. What does? Well. You crazy baboon. <laughs> You assume the position! Why would you do that? What's bothering you? Well, for once, my parents are dead. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure your dad killed them somehow. But anyway, should I suck your dick again? <laughs> oh, so good. Interesting. Why do you want to get rid of him? He's got a shirt! Good job. We're moving up in the mm. world. Listen to my heart to beat. <laughs> Listen to my heart to beat. <gasps> oh no! The rice is on the floor. Where do you go? <laughs> the rice is on the floor. <laughs> Did he feel the food? Mm. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh shit. Smart. You are chained up. <laughs> you live like this now. <laughs> Has literally been chained since the moment he got here. In a place called the safe house. Well, I mean, you also opened up about intimate shit. What the fuck do you yeah. do? Oh, damn. 
He's just the warm mouth, he said. Or just the body. Well, you could have done that, like, three episodes Literally. ago. Literally. Yeah. I can go for a lie. Oh no. What? I hit me like a man. My phone. You to know more of me, huh? True. What a truth teller. Have I been a new one? Like, I know you've been busy, but I feel like this is something pretty noticeable that you would have yeah. done something about much earlier than this. Kind of crazy. Is that his normal attire, or is that is he still in bodyguard? Yeah, that's his bodyguard outfit. Why? <laughs> I guess just like walking around the house then? That's true! Why is he yeah. still wearing the uniform? Always ready for the roleplay, I guess. I don't know. Oh, love that. Good for you. This is actually very psychologically traumatizing. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Don't say that about yourself. You're so sexy. <laughs> Ow. You freak! Stop. That's their safe word. I give up. That's. So it was all an act, Vegas. I thought you were like truly mm. psychotic. Huh? Is that just the solution? So many new beginnings? True, call him out. You got him. <laughs> oh, I was cooking for you and then my dad came in. <laughs> and the rice was on the floor. <laughs> and then the rice was on the floor, guy. I don't know where he went. <laughs> he just keeps leaving every time. That you won't leave? Mm, that's. I don't think that's what he wants that's to hear. That's the right risk now. you run, my guy. <laughs> yeah. Is he gonna kill him now? Does he still have the knife or did he drop it? Oh, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it since. <laughs> oh? You gonna beat him? You gonna beat him? But his dad just beat him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, he knocked him out. He did. One punch. Okay. I like it. He has slippers on as well. I think. That's good. Yeah, that's very good. Fisherman. Fishy, fishy. It's you, though. <laughs> <laughs> we fish a fishy like. Love that. It's mutual. Oh. Oh, what? She's not actually dead, bro. Oh, they, yeah, they really think. Is he gonna show up now? That would be great. In the net, yeah. the fisherman thinks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every night in my dreams. You die, I guess. Not him showing up in the, yeah. the smog. <laughs> smog. Desolation nice. of smog. <laughs> nah, it's just tortured. Yeah. Oh, he is sore. Ow. He knows. He knows something is up. Mm -hmm. Demonio. He's like, he's seen. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm okay. Why wouldn't you tell them about Vegas? Yeah. He still cares about him. He does. Your grandma mm. would beg to defiar. Grandmama says no. He also has had some very unpleasant encounters with Vegas, so... Yeah. Mayhaps he knows. Ow, with a Q-tip. You did not- You little- Oh, you saucy little minx. Bruh, come on. Bruh, you really kept all those- This is why he didn't freak out when he found out that, like, uh, poor Chai had- Basically a shrine of him in his room. He did Aww. not forget because he also had like a mini box. Same. Oh my god, rice on the plate! Yeah, that's where it belongs. Oh no, is he gonna... That's true. Oh no. Don't, don't, don't do it! it don't floor. do it! Don't, don't do it! Do it. <gasps> is he eating it? He is. Mayhaps? Maybe? Do you not have Aww. a dining room in here? Like, Well, he feels at home with the chains, I think. That's true. <laughs> no, yeah. It's really sad. He chokes on the knees. Character yeah. death. 
<laughs> I want oh, that's amazing. Yeah. I will ask someone else to take my photo. <laughs> <laughs> no. What do you mean? I mean, listen. You, I you, take great photos. What do you mean? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Right. There's wow. so many good photos. Yeah, 100%. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, no, he's oh, traumatized. Oh, my God, yeah. He looks great. He's not though. doing well. He does. He's a changed man. He will yeah. never be the same again. There is no light behind his eyes anymore. No. <gasps> Sing him Camila Cabello's um <laughs> <laughs> the one that's like <laughs> I think it's called Never Be the Same Again. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's so good. right. It's the flare. <gasps> Vegas! You have some nerve. Oh, never mind. Oh. Oh. For your troubles. It's money. (laughs) (laughs) And a tip. (laughs) Punch, punch, tip. (laughs) Punch, punch, tip. (laughs) That's my favorite. (laughs) It's another version of, like, the slap and the kiss. It's the punch, (laughs) punch, tip. (laughs) I prefer that one, actually. We need to get the money out of it. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Um, why do you have pictures of my mother? Because I am your father. Wait a minute. <laughs> <gasps> what is this? What, what is mean? this? <laughs> like, wh- why is it that the- his father is now involved? Hmm. He's like, I want that, actually. <laughs> I mean, he was kind of in love with him, like, in the earlier episodes. Oh. So... Interesting. Damn. Until Vegas yeah. tried to assault him, and then it was kind of like weird from there. That's kind of awkward. <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit awkward after that. <laughs> mm. You smoke now, and you <gasps> have an earring. Oh my god! Crazy Change man. Two of them. That's right. Oh my god! Two ear. <gasps> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Cause tonight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not the gun! Question one! <laughs> Question one! Hands up! <laughs> Rebecca, I can explain! <laughs> I won't hesitate, bitch! <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, fuck. No, you know what? I'm not even worried. This is foreplay. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, all are... cool. Nah, probably not. Dude. Shot through the heart! <laughs> You were too late. <laughs> you give us a bad man. <laughs> no, he won't do it. He won't. Oh, he is bleeding. Shoot him a little bit on mm. the lips with your lips, <laughs> <laughs> and that. <laughs> <laughs> Cry into his Are mouth. Yeah. Good. <laughs> That's lovely. <laughs> By lovely, lovely, I mean. I love being. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love being hugged by my torture. torturer. <laughs> Where are we going? Okay. We're both going down. I was like, rice? What's going on? Where the rice is? <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Mom, Dad, this is my boyfriend. He's killed before, and he'll kill again. <gasps> my boss. <gasps> and my lover. The boss. And the boyfriend. Boss. <laughs> mm. This is my boss friend. <laughs> this is my boss friend. He a real mm. bad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> But damn, does he suck dick good? <laughs> damn. Two hours later. I was mid sip, dude. Was that cool? <laughs> like I realized you were mid sip midway through my sentence. Like midway through, like damn, but does he? And I saw you sip, and I was like, no, I can't go back. I can't. I can't ruin the floor. It's too late for me. Though. It's too late. I'm sorry. I have to sacrifice you, Meyer. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. 
been spitting water all over my laptop. <laughs> Which apparently I've done before. Like I have commenters that tell me that like I spilled all over my <laughs> I woke up my parents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one time one time I got a comment. Uh, this is one of my favorites. One time one person told me that like because before I used to frequently make that joke about like Alexa, play that thing. Mm. And I activated their <laughs> You could do that, but with like start the cause nine. What's that song called? Good. Fall for you by s s what's that band? It starts with an S. I with think. an S. Yeah, I mean the band. Oh, secondhand serenade. Secondhand serenade. So, uh, Alexa, play "Fall for You" by Secondhand Serenade. Let me know if it worked. Because I am. <gasps> because of you. <laughs> I never stray too far <laughs> from the sidewalk. <laughs> That's not a sweet song, wait. <laughs> no, that's like about her abusive mom or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's just unrealistic. That's uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just feel like you should be more realistic about these things. Yeah, like, come saying, on now. You're saying a bunch come of on, things. Bro. And like, you're just saying shit at this point. Yeah, now you're just saying shit. Oh, they're naked! It's a sandwich. Aww. He's covering He's him. Covering with his hair. I'm blinded by you. Blinded by your hair. Good shit. <laughs> it is, what a view. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah. Gays be gay in. They really be. In front yeah. of everyone? Hot. Yeah. Let's go, boys. In front of the whole city. Yes. Oh, he's naked though. He is fully naked though. Well, he's probably wearing one of those socks, I would assume. Mm. Courtesy sock? Maybe. Mm. Courtesy sock? <laughs> Kurt sock? Kurt, Kurt sock? You <laughs> Kurt, a Kurt sock. It's a curtsy, yeah. but you go straight, straight for the sandwich. <laughs> oh, he's gonna fall. Oh, it's probably. Is there. Wait, Something. what if he dies this way? No, but at least he died with love. Oh, that's true. At least he died like with mm. a sandwich. Being... <laughs> sandwich. Being sucked, I guess. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. Imagine just a drone comes up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm vibing. Let's go. I love classical music. <laughs> <laughs> it's unrealistic that Kin doesn't snore. Yeah. That man is so tired. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> uncle V? V uncle? <laughs> Megan the uncle? V stand. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, but maybe not as good. His hand said. Yeah. Wait, I was Where supposed to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I promised. Yeah. Not, not the, the notes. Note. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Just vibing to this. <laughs> yeah. It's my favorite song. <laughs> okay, boss. Okay, boss. Wait, where's poor Chai? What? Wait, what the fuck? I'm confused now. Yeah, that's not your oh. brother. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Why'd you take Which him one? out of the house? Because he can't trust the other ones? I don't know. Ah, I guess. Is it me? <gasps> Is it me you're looking for? <laughs> I can see it in your thighs. <laughs> I can see it in your smile. <laughs> Is this a different uncle from the original uncle? They look like the same. Right? They look the same, so, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Unless he has a twin. Really? I'm also not the best at face, so who Me what too. do I know? <laughs> I think it's him. Both of us just going, I think yeah, it's it. Squinting what? at the uncle. A <laughs> move. Yeah. It's the uncle squint. Let's go. Yeah. Which one are you? Oh, yeah, he's asking about the money again. So. Oh, okay, gotcha. Same. Yeah. Same guy. Mm. <gasps> Here we go. Where are they? Did you kill them? Who did it? <gasps> By who? <gasps> Wait, is it by, by Mr. Dad? Korn? Mm. Oh? What? That can happen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mr. Dad? 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 Mr.
คนขับรถชนพ่อแม่มีอยู่จริงผมไปบ้านของคุณพ่อที่อยู่ Good thing you didn't shoot him วันนั้น Is it gonna be a clash? Do they do? The woman was too stunned to speak. It's Mr. Corn. It was you. It was you. You sneaky little motherfucker. I knew I couldn't trust you. See, okay. Why is it that he's always like? Okay, make sure Porsche is fine and okay. Is Porsche your son? <laughs> I'm gonna lose my maybe. mind. Maybe. Right? What if Ken's adopted? That could work, yeah. Maybe. 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 What if their identities were, like, switched or something? Yeah, some crazy shit like that. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, hmm. they didn't grow up together, so. Yeah. So, <laughs> should be fine, I guess. And they're not gonna procreate. They can't. Yeah. They can't. Yeah, so... <laughs> so what's the harm? Yeah. Sir, you have so much money. Please tune your piano. <gasps> oh, you heard me. <laughs> <laughs> they said <Shit>. tune <laughs> tune <fucking> piano. <laughs> piano. That's quick. Just mm -hmm. like you will be. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. Then who was it? Who was it? Who done it? That's that's what I'm saying. Why? Huh? Huh? Wait, wait. So they're cousins. Ken is his cousin. First cousin? Yeah, should be right. Yeah, I mean they didn't grow up together. <laughs> oh, and also technically, so Kim and Poor Chai are also. Oh uh, yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Look at the life flashing before his eyes. Like Yo. I fucked my cousin. So my cousin. <laughs> I fucked him so many Shit. times. <laughs> and now we delve into the final episode. I don't know. It felt... I was so focused on my noodles too. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ten months ago, I posted mm -hmm. <laughs> episodes one to five, and now. Look at us. We're here. And here we are. <laughs> and I haven't watched those. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, but you're here. And that's all I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good I think I'm, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm invested. To speed. I'm invested. How do you feel about, like, Kin, uh, uh, the main couple so far? I mean, yeah. They're not as bad as the one that tortures the other. So I guess the bar is pretty low. <laughs> That's true. I can understand, yeah. like, for some reason, right, when I watch Kim Porsche, and I don't know, I'm not trying to, like, be offensive or anything. Like, I just want people to know, I read fan fiction. I've read, <laughs> I've read a lot of fan fiction. And, like, fun Kim, fact, fun fact, like, Kim Porsche, to me, really does, like, look like fan fiction came to life. Mm. That whole thing with Vegas and, and Pete, written in mm. fan fiction, no one would bat an eye. No. <laughs> right? But you see it on screen. As long as it's tagged properly. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, cool. But like this, yeah, when you see it, it's it's a lot. <laughs> They're doing the most. But it's super fun, like, to watch. Yeah. With the mindset that, like, this isn't right. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, we all... We all... We agree right? on that, right? Like, that's... It's, it's, it's insane. Funny yeah. haha on the screens... <laughs> but we're all in real life. Mm, no, yeah, okay. we're all in on Maybe the joke not, that not. like this is not an in real life activity, right? Like, yeah. that shouldn't happen. That we shouldn't do that without like explicit consent, I guess. If you're both mm. into it, I don't know. Adding that in the last four episodes is a bold move. A brief snack break and then we're back. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Chaos. Oh, Kin will break up with you. <laughs> That's even worse. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Why do you trust him suddenly? That man assaulted him. Like, full mm -hmm. on. Like, mm -hmm. Porsche could not stand up. Kind of weird. But then again, I guess you could also argue that, like, Kin did the same. But Kin apologized. Mm. <laughs> as long as he apologized, I guess. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> Jump scare? Why look so I make 
Ooh. No, honey, it looks like shit. It's so ugly. Wow, can't even see what it is. Little bird. A bird. Rise like a phoenix. <laughs> Suddenly, Eurovision. <laughs> Suddenly, Conchita Burst. Mmm. He talked about that. That's his tattoo. Mm. Mm. And your cousin. <laughs> Yo, that chair? Great chair. Great chair. This sounds like a classical version of like a Linkin Park song for some reason. I've become so numb. I can feel you there. That's not what he sounds like. <laughs> Damn, yeah. trying to remember trauma like, and he knew all this time that they're cousins. That's kind of. He did, and now he knows that they're dating, and he's just like, he's like, okay, mm. kind of fucked up, dude. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, mm -hmm. he's connecting the dots. Mm -hmm. That's awful. Oh, what? what? <laughs> oh, so they're not related at all, but not by blood. still kind of cousins. Uh, yeah. Well, who? How, how will my sister feel about you shooting her husband, huh? <laughs> mm? Probably not very well. Don't do it. Where she's still alive somewhere. Are we gonna see. Yeah. Um. Wow. Mm. From what? What about all the money? Yeah. Oh, so you just fucked up. Okay, got you. Oh. He's dying of a heart attack? Mm hmm. The cigars are catching up to him. Oh my god! They're all in the same room. Does he? Do I? Do I know? Because I don't <laughs> think I do. I guess like maybe Kin would now be officially the head? Is that what that means? Oh yeah, it's true. He's dead. Damn. Papa. Papa. I thought he was the main villain all along. I guess not. Mm. How do you come back from that? I want to see. Mm. In an hour and 19 minutes. Show oh, me shit. how that works. Oh, this is Mr. Gunn. Oh, wait. He's the dad of Vegas in the minor family. Yes. Oh, no. The rice is on the floor again. You have to leave. <laughs> Where are you going? I have to leave. <laughs> What does this mean? Like, if they were planning to, you know, do the bloodshed thing anyway, why wait for the mm. father to die? Maybe just because, like, he's the most powerful and now they're invulnerable because he's dead and they don't have, like, a official leader again. Maybe also, like, murdering him wouldn't be the best thing in his reputation. Yeah. <laughs> his body isn't even cold yet. ครับผมเห็นคนให้ตระกูลหลับกําลังเคลียร์ปัญหาผมเห็นคนให้ตระกูลรองเข้ามาทําหน้าที่แทนทางคุณคินคุณจะเสียสละแหวนให้คุณก
papa bro papa <laughs> bro <laughs> papa bro. on the floor bro papa dude dude <laughs> oh shit he shot him oh shit Shoot out! Papa on the floor. <laughs> so many pop up pop up on the floor. Oh my god, pop up pop up on the floor. Hello, nine one one. Okay. <laughs> I've never been in the mafia. Mm -mm. Should we try? Personally, should we? Yeah, let's start one. Yeah, let's talk about how we'll do that on video. Also, like <gasps> Vegas is actively trying to kill Porsche's boyfriend when I thought that they were kind of yeah. good. <gasps> Porsche is with the slow mo. Porsche. Oh my god, look at him. Look at him. Is that a bulletproof vest? I hope so. Let me see. No, okay, it's just the. I think it's just the. I think it might just be the <laughs> harness for the gun. Damn. <gasps> Never mind. What did you eat? <laughs> what did you eat? <laughs> eat the rice off the floor? <laughs> oh shit. He's on his own <gasps> side. Oh my god, they're gonna start another one. Oh! <gasps> <Good Bra. night. laughs> Shoot him! <laughs> oh damn, okay. Cause that was a moment. Maybe both. Maybe both. Oh my god, look at him! Oh my goodness! They don't need vests, bro! Oh, see, no, I <laughs> <laughs> Not that it's gun! Bruh. A different... You f and you knew that too. You knew that, you little... Yeah. He's just being cheeky. He's playing a little silly goose right now. Come on, bro. Since no. I was a wee lad. <laughs> Since I was a wee little child. <laughs> <gasps> the little guy. He's a little guy telling them to get out of there. Oh, is it like waste or something in that balloon? Yeah. That's. I don't. It was a distraction. Like gas? Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's explosives. That's a fun one. Too bad. How well That's could he hear get. before anyways? Like, I, yeah, true. When Pete was asking to be let go, he pretended not to hear. <laughs> okay, Erica! Erica. Nice. What? I guess. Oh my, oh my god! god. Uh, nice! Oh That's my great, god. I love that. Oh, they Come. are sitting <gasps> Bro, they cost us Erica. How dare you? Ugh. Don't say that. Yeah. Yeah, uncle. <laughs> Wait, another plot twist? Maybe. What? Their own father. Yeah, and their father. So, yeah. Kin's grandfather. grandfather killed Porsche's mom's entire family, I guess. So he w- So he did! So he did! Or is this guy also just bullshitting? Yeah, too? what the fuck? They filmed this so many times. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No, the, the gun he didn't slipped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, I don't know if I believe that because like he's such an abusive little shit. Unless he became abusive after this. Yes, yeah, so he killed the mother too. Yeah, yeah, like she didn't die of a... But that's your sister sort of. That's why she's not dead. What if she's not dead? What if she's not dead? That one was supposed to die, but he was alive. Well, he's dead, so... Yeah, he's gone now. Unless he's not dead? Imagine. <laughs> Unless he's dead. Because they both fainted the same way. <laughs> or did he? Did he? What? Um... Wait, what? <laughs> you mean like... Like, you mean like, like a, a sister, sister or... or... <laughs> oh no. Hello? <laughs> Damn, what the fuck is this suddenly? Oh. I see. Oh, he didn't kill him. Yeah. Doesn't feel as good now, does it? Maybe he likes it actually. Actually, true, yeah. He's been stepping on so many men today, too. Are they like gonna kiss when he's all bloody? Because that's kind of fucked. Oh my god. Are they? Is this. Are they? 
Is this? You're strange, Quirrell. What? Uh, but, uh, they are! <laughs> That's dirty. That's nasty. That's so nasty. Uh, mm. At least they're not related. <laughs> You never know. <laughs> you know what? You're right. What's this then? For sure. Is this Papa? Hey! Huh? Hey! Papa! <laughs> brother. Brethren. I, I knew it, brethren. Oh! Lady! <laughs> I told you! <laughs> She's also alive! I really came I'm in alive. here on episode 11. <laughs> <laughs> I predicted this <laughs> with the theories. Uh, that's so fun, though. For Mother, you've got some explaining to do. <laughs> that makes sense, though, that she was probably the one telling him to protect Porsche. Mm, yeah. What the fuck? It's nasty. Also nasty, his son following in his footsteps with Pete. Yeah. I think you're all kind of fucked. I'm not gonna lie to you. I am. <laughs> Don't look at her. Don't say her name. You piece of shit. Get away from her. Her. Uh, feel like he's kind of bad. Maybe just like. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, <I'm full>. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not again. <laughs> I mean, she's alive. <laughs> yeah, she is. Oh my god, we're doing this again. Come on. Yeah. That's my dad. Bookie, bookie, bookie. <laughs> Stop. Well, he could never shoot Kin. She's just out. <laughs> She's just passed out entirely. During all of this. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to And you couldn't. Like, there was no way that he could have <laughs> imprisoned or. Put gun away. Like instead, he trapped the mother. Yeah. Which kind of I guess sucks. since they're all illegal, you know. And he also killed the father. The father. The father. I don't know, for some weird. I don't know, actually understand why he killed the father. Because yeah, wasn't. Yeah, me neither. I don't, I don't know what motivations were there for that. Sure. <laughs> I hear you. Um, that's crazy. Cuz. Cousin. Yeah, cuzzo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As your boyfriend and your cousin. I got yeah. you. So your dad's dead. Pop pop on the floor. <laughs> pop on the floor. You just like your father. <laughs> Just like your father. Shit. That's a lot of good. You don't want to be killed by them, do you? Nah, you wanted to be killed by Pete. Oh, I don't know. Yes, but now I must be loyal to my heart. <laughs> oh, damn. Let's go. Pack up. I hand in my two weeks notice. <laughs> Not <thinking. Pretty> much. <laughs> Not the blood. Uh, yeah, the angel wings. Yeah, the angel wings blood. <laughs> don't do it. I know what you're thinking. Don't do it. Don't do it. Or I. No, don't. No. <laughs> no. I. No. No. Me now. There's me. Yeah, but like. I I don't know if that's like. Maybe they can upgrade to like same safe and consensual, you know. I guess <laughs> to just do regular bondage. <laughs> That's true. Why couldn't you have just done regular bondage like a normal BDSM couple? <laughs> he loves you because he wanna do regular bondage. With yeah, you. he wants to try regular bondage. 
Yeah. What about me? What, What about, about us? <laughs> What about everything we've been through? Oh no, he's so sad. Oh shit. <gasps> he wants to pop up on the floor. He wants to pop up in his oh, mouth. In his mouth. Actually, like me. Oh. Yes, he is. Hungry for some loving, am I right? <laughs> am I right? Because you know I. Bruh. I just went up here. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a collar or something. It might be cute. Make him happy, yeah. Put a ring on it, but like a collar instead. Now. True, put a collar on it. See what happens. Mm. <laughs> See what happens. <laughs> Fuck around and find out. Mm -mm -mm. I never know with Vegas. Yeah. Yep. There we go. Oh, wait. Someone else killed him. So I guess there is major character death. <laughs> I think mm. now, because like the minor family was always part of the main family, so there was never supposed to be that kind of, you know. Yeah, I mean, they are the same family. Yeah, yes. but because they are families, <laughs> these things happen. I mean, things like this don't we cost no idea. <laughs> What? <laughs> my god, I haven't washed my hair. Oh, right, that makes sense. <laughs> he looks at the bodies and he's like, oh my god, I haven't washed my hair. I didn't rinse. Yeah. We just skipped a month? I guess. At least it's not like 16 years. <laughs> uh, you know what? Yeah, true. <laughs> the whiplash. Damn, look at him. <laughs> look at him like... Oh! Whoa. Yes? That was smooth. Nice one. Yeah. That's from when he was new and he walked in. Aww. Aww. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Here we go. The hubby. Power couple, power cousins. Mm. <laughs> Did you prep? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. They're ring. married. Oh my god. That's crazy. Vegas died so that Porsche could run. <laughs> This was my cousins. <laughs> David play, please. I was thinking like when you were here before. Look <laughs> you in the eye. I don't, oh, he's also a balcony boy. Look at oh, his shit. balcony boys. <laughs> oh, it's that song. It's not really incest. Not, not really. So. Not really. No. It's a degree of it, but not really. <laughs> It's a little smidge. Yeah, you've got a touch of incest in your relationship. <laughs> okay. Damn, Thailand's so pretty at night. Mm. I'm pretty in general, but like the lights in the temple is crazy. Yeah. Is it in your pants? You goof. Maybe. <laughs> oh, look at me lick this. Mm. I'm a bartender. <laughs> I am a bartender. Let me shake this shaker. I'm a bartender. I'm a bartender. Yeah, but it's not actually your art, though. What is what's in the drink? <laughs> really? Anyway, how's Vegas? <gasps> <laughs> anyway, how's it? <laughs> That's crazy. So no one died. But I am your cousin. <laughs> I'm your cousin on my mother's side. <laughs> like, fine if they make that work somehow, but I feel like they should talk about this. I feel like they should talk about it way more than. Yeah. Oh, maybe they did. They're yeah. just like, oh, 
Yeah, I mean, it's been a month. It's been a month. <laughs> oh, they're the sky and the ground. Yeah. Look at him. It must kind of be weirder for him because he knows like his mother as his sister. Like they don't, they didn't know each other before. He mm. knows his mother. He knew everything. And like treats her like her sister, and then yeah. he just sees the kids get yep. together. Thank you, Papa. Was this all predetermined? Nice words. Yeah. He planned this. Yeah. That's kind of weird. He planned this so that he could get rid of the minor family and change it with Porsche. Maybe. Is so. there a? Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We got him. We got him. <gasps> Yellow curry. Pop. Pop. Mm. Pop, pop. No, he's the one in bandages. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, look at him. Crazy. Oh, how the turntables. Truth. If you run, run, run. First of all, you would not be fine with that. <laughs> look no. at you. Look at you. Look at the state of you. Look at the state of you. I mean, you can. Well, you can. You <laughs> can. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think he wants to though. Yeah, I think he's into that. Why not both? Right? I can be your dog. Damn. Yeah, because I <laughs> kiss my pets like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Talk to me. Talk to me. <laughs> Wait, is that his brother or something? Or are yeah, they his that's his brother. Oh, shit. His bro Never They're mind. just brothers. <laughs> Sure, yeah. I have Just to them both. That's yeah. Great. It's cute. Family. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. That was time. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Me too. How does it feel coming back to it after <laughs> 10 months? <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, it's not been 10 months since you watched last, I guess. So it's been like, what, nine months? Seven months, I guess. Yeah, it was seven months. Mm. I believe, I believe so. Yeah, seven months. That you posted it. That I posted it, but I watched it yeah. in December 25. Mary Chrysler. Yeah. Um, Mary Chrysler. I I stand by what I said, which is that this is the best thing I've ever seen. There were like plot twists happening in the middle of the show too. So like if you total all of the plot twists up until mm -hmm. the like, the PS, another plot twist, that's a lot of plot twists. That's <laughs> That's how many plot twists. This, yeah, the the plot has been twisted so much that like yeah. there there was no untwisting. I just want to say I don't regret seeing this at all. I had such a yeah. good time. Like where there moments where it was kind of like uh, 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 yeah, a lot for sure. <laughs> yeah, there were so many moments like that. But <laughs> I mean. That's what art is, I suppose. I'm here for it. I said I was in it yeah. for the ride, and I I rode. <laughs> I you really rode. rode. I did. <laughs> I finished it. Took me a while, but you know what they say about being late? Better than yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's what I did. I came back and I watched it again, and it really just is as insane, if not more insane, because like mm. we watched it. Like the last four episodes were just like. Plot twist after plot twist, and then so many guns, so much blood. Bunch of torture. So much torture. Pete in Vegas. Mm. Kind of crazy. I think it's like... Kind of insane. Yeah, they're a little kind of insane. It's like, mm. when you... They're so different from, like, episodes one through five. Like, seeing Vegas there, he was just, like, the same character for 10 episodes and then suddenly the last four episodes transformation and i'm just like whoa that's kind of that's crazy that's I'm like sure if this is the bad guy or not <laughs> suddenly just, like, yeah. intense torture and i was like oh yeah okay. it's like i was like from the beginning i was always just like the dad is the most dangerous player in this game like mr corn because he was like he always rubbed me the wrong way because he would always like talk about his children like they were chess pieces or knives and stuff like that so there was always something fishy fishy going on with him and lo and behold he was a little bit insane for a lot of this mm. all things considered i really 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 enjoyed it would i recommend this to yeah. other people to watch blindly absolutely for sure yeah, yeah. <laughs> with content warnings of like 
Because yeah. there's a lot of it. Kind of insane. Kind yeah. of insane, yeah. I mean, I obviously have my gripes with it. If you've watched, like, I'm pretty sure what I'm going to do for this finale video is I'm going to do, like, what I did with the rest of my videos, which is, like, I'm going to compile the other, you know, because it's been seven months. So I need to catch you up on, like, you also need to catch up on what's been happening with Kim Porsche. So I'm going to put yeah. all of the early episodes and then this one into one big video. So if you've mm. reached up until this point, Thank you very much. You watched the entire thing. Stay. I, I have more to say. Overall, despite all of my gripes with this show and the amount of times I would just go like, wait, what? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Ultimately, such a fun ride. Like, I, yeah. Because, like, if something's going to be... Insane? <laughs> yeah, if something's going to be insane, just fully lean into it. It better be insane. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, don't be bad and boring. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you're going to go insane, go full insane. And that's what they did. They fully leaned into the chaos of it all. And I appreciate that. Respect. I appreciated it so much that I decided that for the last four episodes of this, I would drag Maya (laughs) into this hell with me (laughs) with no context whatsoever. And just, like, have them, like, just dive in. Just, like, a big nose dive into the Kim (laughs) Porsche universe. Straight in. Yeah, just straight in. Episode 11. I almost feel like it's kind of perfect, to be honest, because, like, Mm. the show took such a sharp turn from 11 onwards. Yeah. Like, if I'm supposed to, like, start somewhere that's not the start, I feel like this was a good place to start. I know. It was kind of, like, okay to, like, it didn't feel too lost most of the time. Like, at the start, it was a bit, like, with all the characters, but I kind of understood the plot pretty quickly, so that's fun. It's so funny! It's mm. such a funny show! Yeah. God, I love it. Do you have, like, a favorite character or, like, couple from the show? I mean, they're all kind of insane in their own right, I guess. True. I'm not sure. I feel like I've, I'm not as invested in the couples or, like, the characters themselves. Mm-mm. Since I started kind of late, so I'm more, like, <laughs> invested in the actual story Mm-mm. more than the people in it. Yeah, that's completely so, fair. So, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think, There's like, one. who do I like the most? I mean, <coughs> Erica is number one. <laughs> I just met her. <laughs> she was not yeah. there. And, like, I mean, she could have been no. there, and I just never noticed. But, like, I noticed her mm. now, and she's insane. Yeah. So, yeah, Queen Erica for life. Queen Yok for life. The club owner. Mm -hmm. Fun times with them. I do like Pete. (laughs) Pete is kind of, yeah. He's a fun fun character. Kind of insane. Character arc for Pete took a turn I didn't anticipate at all. I wonder if they're gonna, like, adopt a hedgehog or something. Oh my god. That'd be kind of fucked. (laughs) It would be really fucked. (laughs) But they would do it. Also kind of cute. Yeah. And they can name it this time. Mm, 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 mm. You can. An English name? Mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My any final words? Thank you. No. Right. <laughs> See you next time. Cousin or not. <laughs> that almost sounds like cousin night. <laughs> no, stop. Cousin night. <laughs>